gamer boy. Hi, Pappy. What kind of... Okay, I was gonna... I was gonna ask in chat what your favorite kind of pizza is, but then I figured I can just ask you on stream. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. I'm still not used to this. Um, tracking. It's so much faster? Responsive? Cheese! Mmm. Okay, cheese is good, though. Especially if it's like... If it's like four cheese or five cheese or something. Those are good. I like... I like ham and pineapple. I think ham and pineapple is delicious. It's like... Sweet. You've never had it? <gasps> you have arrived! Time box water! We just started. We just started. Today, I have with me um, a Pepsi and two oatmeal raisin cookies. Oatmeal raisin cookies? Yes, they have raisins in them. What are your thoughts on raisin cookies? Oatmeal raisin cookies. Personally, I think they're delicious. I have brownie cookies. Oh, that sounds... That sounds good. You've never had it? Pappy, you're so right! Actually, okay. If I were to rate my top three favorite cookies, it would be... Ginger. Ginger cookie, like ginger molasses. Um... And then... Probably oatmeal... Raisin... Like, like, some... Some variation of it, like... I won't eat a cookie that isn't oatmeal raisin. Whoa. That's big. Why does everyone have food? I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry, gamer boy. I'm... I feel like a brownie cookie would be good too. I'm like... I need a soft cookie. I can't eat... Hard cookies. Like crunchy cookies? Those hurt. Like, they're not as enjoyable. But like a soft cookie, they chew nice, they go down nice, they stay in my stomach nice. They're just good all around. My... my tracking has chewing. I'm chewing with my mouth closed right now. But I'm making the motion of chewing and it's... <laughs> it's also chewing. That's so funny. <laughs> Guys, four hours ago we hit 300 follows! I forget who it was. Someone called... Kalini. Kalini. Big dub. Yes! We started at zero, literally. And now we're at 300. Wow. wow. I timed that perfectly! That was impressive. Here, let me open my Pepsi for you. Ready? <laughs> oh my god, that Pepsi opening peaked my mic. That's weird. Mm, delicious. Okay, guys, today we have some choices. I knew I wanted to stream, but I couldn't decide what I was going to stream. And if I was 
if I waited any longer, then I probably wouldn't have streamed just because I couldn't decide what to stream. So I figured, why not just start? So we have Ambulance Emergency Simulator, which is exactly what it sounds like. I'll read the, the, the description for you. It says... Oh, this isn't it. It says... It says... New case information is constantly coming from your radio. You should pick up the patient and take him to the hospital as soon as possible. That's, that's the description. We offer different ambulances, ambulance vehicles, and a game with arcade excitement that you can have fun with. Wow. And then we have... Um, Rain World, which which I I always stream. We know Rain World, yes. And then we have Beacon Pines, which literally came out today. Like, it came out today. I've had it on my wish list, but I wasn't sure. Like, I forgot about it, and then I got an email saying it came out, so I was like, oh, it's on sale. I should buy it. Okay, the description for... Yes, Ambulance Sim seems really fun. It's It depends on the mood for today, I guess. Because... Ambulance Sim would be really chaotic. But Beacon Pines... Let me read the description for Beacon Pines. Rain World, no in the stream series is Pain World. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Death World. Okay, Beacon Pines description. Beacon Pines is a cute and creepy adventure set within a mysterious book. Sneak out late, make new friends, uncover hidden truths, and collect words that will change the course of fate. It seems like... It kind of feels like a choose-your-own-adventure type game, but with words. If that... That does not make sense at all, but that's the best description I can give you based off of what I think it is about. Because it seems to have multiple endings, like bad ends. It's like visual novel and mystery solving. And you get different routes by picking different words. So that's why I say it's like choose your own adventure. But again, that's like... Hi, monkey! But again, that's like a very, very different vibe compared to... Ambulance. Hi, monkey! How are you? I'm gonna zoom in on my little face. Very good. That's what we like to hear. See, look at the... Look at the... I guess it didn't... My tracking wasn't as... Mm, specific as... My iPad tracking before. So when I chew... <gasps> I mean! See, look. It like... It makes an animation for it. But I'm chewing with my mouth closed. Because that's gross. How have you been, Min? We're trying to decide what we want to play today. Do we want a chill, fun... No, no, I guess less chill, but more like... Chaotic? We're looking for a chaotic... Quick game kind of thing? Or... Something more long term and myster oh! mysterious. Baby. 
So I just had the most stressful gaming experience a few minutes ago. It was fun. <gasps> what did you play? What were you playing? Whatever you choose, I'm here for it. Pappy's my largest supporter. You know, when I'm up close like this... I realize I don't really have eye whites. I think it's a very slightly different color. But you can't really tell when you're this close. <laughs> Big no-no. Hi, -no. Shadow! I was playing Risk of Rain 2 on the hardest difficulty setting so I can unlock Mysterious Skin, Mastery Skin for a character. I somehow survived by the skin of my teeth. <gasps> Did you unlock the skin? Giga no no. <laughs> oh god I was squinting too much My tracking went crazy for a minute Yes you did! Very happy! Yay! I'm so happy for you Consumed what I'm more in the mood for. Your heart is so pounding. <laughs> I'm glad you won. Very, very good. Deciding what to play Or I should be deciding what to play But I'm like I'm like zoning I'm like I'm staring at myself I kind of Like I'm torn Because I feel like mentally I'm in the aspect of The ambulance game You know Like Mentally I want to ride An ambulance Off the side of a mountain You know but it's launch day for Beacon Pines. And that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, like to play on launch day. And how many people know of it yet? Not very many, probably. Why an ambulance? Because that was the game that was 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 on sale for $5. <laughs> Um, ambulance Emergency Simulator It was on sale for $5 today So I bought it And it was on my wish list It looks crazy it Looks like you can like Throw yourself off things So maybe I don't know Okay, how about this How about this We play Ambulance Emergency Simulator And then it is also launch day for Slime Rancher 2. That's why everybody's gonna be playing Slime Rancher 2. But little do they know, Beacon Pines is out and it is cute and scary. Apparently it's a horror game. But it's but it it doesn't look like a horror game because it all the all the characters are like animals. Beacon Pines looks so cute! Yeah, Daisy, I saw that it was on your wish list too. Doesn't it look cute? It came out today. So here's what I'm thinking, guys. How about do a barrel roll in the ambulance? Yeah, we could! 
I just saw it today, yeah. Oh, did you just add it to your wish list today? I got an email and it was like, it's out. And I was like, I don't remember ever putting this on my wish list, but I'm glad that it's on it. Ooh, how is Slime Rancher 2? <laughs> how about... Okay, we play... Ambulance Simulator. For a bit. Feel how we're feeling. And then, if I still have energy, then we'll play Beacon Pines. If not, then we play Beacon Pines tomorrow. How about that? Because I kind of do want to throw myself off of uh, a cliff in an ambulance to save someone's life. It looks cute? Good. Sounds good to me. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, let us change to... Um, ambulance... Uh, ambulance... Simulator. Oh no, it's Ambulance Emergency Simulator. So it's not even... Ambulance sh sh Chauffeur Simulator? What is that? Emergency Simulator. Emergency Ambulance. There's so many Emergency Simulator. <laughs> Um, do a barrel roll. A barrel, barrel. How do you spell barrel? Barrel. Barrel. That doesn't look correct. Okay, I'm not doing that. Throwing myself off a cliff in an ambulance. To save someone's life. Aren't they so funny? I love them so much. They're like so dumb. Like the sun the 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 sandbox ones too, where it's like you can just throw yourself. Ambulance. It's an A. Done. Okay, let's go. Play. Okay, made with unity. Good, good. No, no, can I show you a picture of my new slime? Yes, I want to see your slime. Imagine if there was Rainworld online multiplayer, we could all troll. <laughs> I would love an online multiplayer Rainworld. That would be so funny. Imagine if you could like pick which character you are too. Like you could pick which um, creature you are. That would be cool. Okay, let's... Gaming. Look at how big my head is. Um, yum, 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 yum. Game capture. Ambulance simulator. And we'll turn off the music. Turn off the music. Oh, oh my god, that's loud. That's quite, that's quite loud. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Help! So loud. Okay, there. Oh my god, it lags me. When I, when I click in. Okay, I'll have to turn down the... Uh, window extra high, high. No, why is it so loud? Unlimited view range. This time, oh. Graphics. Wait, let me get... Where's the sound? Oh. It's right in front of my face. Hi! 
We're trying to figure out how I don't... Don't lag like a butt. Or at least I'm trying to figure that out. There we go. Okay. Oh, loud! It's Peachy! Probably turned down the graphics. FPS counter. Shows the frame rate you get in game. Performance. The scenes for this game is an average of 1,005... One, one million polygons, which is currently a high level of scene detail for mid-range phones. Phones! Can turn them off. In this way, the game... But the objects you select will not be eyed in the scenes. Let's get rid of chairs? Bro, this is a phone game! Guys, you can play this game too on your phone! Turf walls? The heck is a turf wall? Game to turn on and off in game. Imagine playing phone games on a PC. Me! Late but here at least. Hi, Silver! Shrubs. Where's the shrubs? You know what, guys? We're just gonna go for it. I can be... I can be... I, I'm gonna be laggy, but... It's... It's... Turf walls are shrugs. Oh! Settings. I wish there was, like, low. I want shrubs. I'm kidding. Okay, we're just gonna go. Stunt and fun. Parking? Made by Sonar Karik at the rate of 95% 3D models. Voiceover? Parking simulator? Garage? Oh, dang, we can. Ooh! I want to voice act in an ambulance. Oh, dang. Look at that one. What the... Speed, control, power. That's no ambulance. I want, like, a cool one, you know? Like... This is just like Mario Kart! It is. Okay, let's do it. What is he saying? Merging information is coming from every point of the city. You must take control of the ambulance as soon as possible to start the task immediately. You need to quickly transport the sick and injured to the hospital. We're counting on you. Get going! You haven't selected a car yet. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't have money. How do I buy a car? How much money do I have? Let's get this one. Okay. Well, how much money do I have? I guess we have that. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Oh, God. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God! Wait, does it damage my car? I think it damaged my car. Okay. Silver! Okay, I'm like less laggy now. Okay, that's cool. Oops, sorry. Um Oh my god, coins. Let's go. I didn't look at the controls. We don't know what we're doing. Let's go! Yes, money. Okay, we need to go. How do we check? How do we How do we check? Immediately crashes. There was a car in my there was a car in my way! Okay, we need... Okay, wait. Should I be going in... Do I have a health? I don't think I actually have a health. That's good. Oops. Oh my god, what's happening? Help. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? 
Okay. Halloween, big sale. Oh my god, it's in season. Where's someone sick? Oops. Nobody's driving this car. Oh! Should I be going in that direction? Okay, let's go. Let's go follow this thing. How can it have health? My car has health? If I crash into too many things... The ghost ambulance. Let's go. Why is my turn signal on? Oops. I'm not turning. Okay, I turned it off. Why would I need a turn signal? Oh! What?! <laughs> Is it not... <laughs> Why?! Let me out! <laughs> Why was the tunnel... Why was the tunnel... <laughs> Why? Please. Nona's gonna kill the patient before... I don't even have the patient yet. Okay. Oh. Oh. Please. Please, sir. Yes! Okay, we're free again. Okay, good news, we're free. I keep on tabbing out by accident. It's because my mouse can actually leave the game. Oh, because it's windowed. <laughs> okay, so... There has to be a way to like, you know, like, put on the brakes. Okay. Okay, we're getting closer to whatever this is. Is that the hospital? <gasps> Maybe I have to go to the hospital first? I don't go very fast when I'm on grass. I guess that makes sense. Okay, here's a dirt road. <gasps> Houses! Maybe I should have looked up the... Okay, let's look up the... It's loud again! What the heck is this? Space handbrake. I, engine on off, changed camera. Turn on and off siren sound, siren radio, radio, flasher, nitro? Slow motion. Okay. I don't know what that meant. Why is the sound loud again? Why is the keyboard sideways? I wish I knew. Okay, let's go. Let's go this time. Okay, this time for sure, guys. How do I... What was the sirens? X? Yeah! And what was the radio? I don't know what that is. Tabo? Tabo? Okay, let's go to the... Let's go! Come on! <gasps> oh my god, first person view! Yes. This is a real... Now we're talking. Now we're talking real. <gasps> oh my god, a person! Oh shoot. Patient received! Yes! We got him! Okay, hospital! Hospital! I hit them! It's okay. I got them, so it's, it's okay. 
Hospital. 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 Oh my god, you can go on top of that building over there. Hospital. Is it close? Oh. Move. Get out the way. Follow the rules of the road. Who do you think? Oh my god, cars. Down. What happened? Wait, what happened? Ew, what is this point of view? What is this? <laughs> what, is... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> 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 that was like a... Like a police show or something. Action cam! Include his GTA camera! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Yo! We're looking at a bird's eye view of the ambulance. Missed his turn to the hospital again. Let's go, let's go. Oh, buddy, they went sideways. It's okay. They've regained themselves. They're heading, they're heading. They're heading. This game was five dollars. I know! Wait, where am I? Why is it so blank here? Oh, I'm at the edge of the map, that's why. I'm going. I'm going back to the city. <laughs> this is my favorite one! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where's the hospital? He's gonna bleed out. He is because I hit him. <gasps> hospital? Get out of burn! Oh yeah. Now we're headed. Now we're headed in the right way. Now we're going. Hospital. <gasps> Hold on. Hospital. We're here. We're at the hospital. Hospital? Here? Oh yeah. 350. Okay, next mission. Wow, I'm a professional at this. I am so good. Yes! I saved a life today, maybe. Okay, let's find another dead person. I mean almost dead person. Oops. I'm glad that it fixes itself when I fall over. Okay, let's go back to my cool camera. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> let's go! Oh, just kidding. That was a bush. Some shrubs. 911 ambulance. We're out of here. Bam. Bam. We're stuck in a parking lot. Oh. Ambulance slipping down the street. No, no. I saved a life to save. Okay, we have to. Okay, let me actually get onto the road first because i feel like that's important oh where am i bird's eye view am i stuck am i i might be stuck oh no i'm good i'm good i'm fine we're good oh let's go to this person 
Oh, we're going on the road. Oh, yeah. Bam! <laughs> Wait, I want to see slow motion. I got my turn signal on. Start cut. <laughs> Even I'm in slow motion. <laughs> Where is he? Where's that dead guy? Almost dead guy. Wow, look at that art piece in the background there. Oh. Oh god. Oh god, we're stuck. Oh god. Oh god, I made a mistake. Back it up, back it up. I need a car to hit me. The way Nono's driving is soon to be... Oh, he's coming? He's coming? Slow-mo. Ready? Ready? God, all these people are dead. And I still can't move. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let's go! Bro, what happened to the water? The water's frozen. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. We might have soft locked it. I've glitched. Oh! That was new. That was a new sound. Oh, that card. Bro, what? What just happened? Look at my my nice. Drove right between us. Oh, that one crashed. Sad. Oh, another one's coming. Another one's coming. They know. Oh, I'm free. Let's go. Okay. Yes! Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. I need my sirens on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, you car. That's right. That's right. It's the law to stop. There they are. They're coming up. Where are they? Oh my god, are they jumping? What is that in the- Oh no, it's just an arrow. <laughs> I thought it was someone jumping. Oh my god, it's a car accident. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. You should take him to the hospital immediately. Don't worry. I know where the hospital is. Hi, Panda! We're saving lives today! Ready? -na 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 I have more control when I'm in this point of view, I feel. Oh! 
What? Crazy. Okay, wait, where is it? Oh my god! You can see him in the back of my car! Crazy. Yes, $20. Saving is a side effect. <laughs> that was good. I like that one. That one, we 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 saw some. Oh my god, is that a loop de loop? I want to do the loop de loop. Okay, hold on. We have to get a good running start for the loop de loop. Okay. Oops. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, we should do it from our cool camera point of view, right? There we go. Ready? Go! <laughs> yeah! Oh. We weren't fast enough. How do I get faster? Is there like acceleration or something? Maybe there's a speed boost, but I don't know what it is. We need to go save someone else. I like how the music stops when I'm in this point of view. Airplane mode. We're just observing. That's not me there, that's someone else we're watching. Where are they going? Where are they going? They're saving lives. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, whoa, did you see that turn? That was... that was impressive. Bum, ba -da -da. Bro, there was so much lag from that phase. Please don't do it again! <laughs> The loop de loop? I think it was because. Actually, I don't know what it was. Oh, look at how fast I'm going! Now I'm really picking up speed. Oh. I got you! I got you, bro. Let's go to the hospital now. I really want to jump off of a building, though. Do you see? Oh, look at that. Like, you see these coins? It's like implying that you could do something there, you know? Hospital! Oh, yeah. You could say... You could say I'm a savior. You could say that if you want. Damn. I'm really curious about the the other the other parts. Nice 180. Donuts, donuts, donuts. FedEx trans. Trans rights. So how did I reset this? <laughs> oh no! That's 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 what you have to do for. Ooh, I want to do that jump though. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go all the way to the edge of this thing, and then we're gonna. Ooh, look at that rainbow thing. We're gonna pick up speed. And then we're gonna we're gonna fly off the handles. Ready? Go! Well, it's slow. It's slow starting, but it's okay. Transportation rights? No, I think you're all. <laughs> Maybe. 
Good. That was a good jump. Okay, there's someone dead over here. Okay, after we rescued this person, I want to see the other features. No, no, you killed my stream because of the Hot Wheels love to live. <laughs> it's a price to pay. A price to pay for Hot Wheels loop de loops. Sick air machine. Road rules only apply if you're on the road. Lexus, that's so wise. I've never heard more wiser words than that. Destroy lag. Oh, another ramp. Ready? <laughs> Patient received! Okay. Hospital. Imagine seeing your your ambulance like jump off the side of a <laughs> jump off the side of a building to rescue you. Oops. Me wise truly a terrifying thought. No, oh, that was very wise of you. Very, very wise. 20 bucks. Okay, here's a hospital. Probably. Soon? Oh, where am I? Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that woman. What? Did I not break it? We're going on a trip. Rainbows. That was good. That was satisfying. Why is the hospital all the way out here? <gasps> yes! I wonder if there's like graphics within the car. Good job, mostly not dying. Hmm. Technically, there's no health, so we don't know if I was dying. Oh, there we go. Hospital. Yes! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Sir, please put the... Okay, what did we want to do? We wanted... I wanted to do stunt and fun. Okay, what do I have to do? Money? Do I have to beat this in a certain time frame? Do I have to go through these... These things? And we don't know if we kill patient. We only... <laughs> You're right! For all we know, we're just transporting a dead body. Played many racing games? No. But I do like them a lot. Oops. I broke it. Oh, no, I didn't break it. Maybe I did break it. Oops, wrong way. Back it up, back it up. You got it! You got it! Whoa, what the heck is that thing up there? Oh! If that hit me, would I, like... Be flung? Probably. This is like Mario Kart, but like... I'm the only driver. And also there's... I can't... I can't swim. If we are transporting a dead body, how are we getting paid? Well, you get... Well, well... Well, people get paid for like... Funerals. I'm sure that's the same logic, right? Like, if you're one of those people that drive dead bodies around, you still get paid. 
You have to get paid for the emotional turmoil of having a dead body in your car, I think. Mario Kart for med students. Yeah. Yes! Wow, I get so much money. This sound is gonna kill me one day. I want the next one. Whoa, look at all these arrows. Wow. But no, no, we in Avalanche, we get paid to save lives, not kill them. But you still get paid. Oh! That was a trick. Why would I not want to... Unsuccessful. There's not even a try again button! It's just unsuccessful. You have lost. We try to save lives. The money is on the ground and we steal it. That's true. Oh! There was an exclamation mark saying, don't take that way, I see. Okay. I had to pay attention. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Okay, how, why wouldn't I go into the tunnel? This music. Okay, this time, this time serious. This time for serious. If you want to arrive alive, you gotta get paid. You gotta, you gotta pay. Oh, yeah, that's true. You gotta pay to survive. That's why ambulance gone money now! No! Why is it so much harder? And they don't even have a try again button. I want to go back. Try again. Oh god, the music is so loud. I thought I could withstand it. I cannot withstand it. Thank you for lurking, Nexus! Okay. Oh. Oh, no! We will, we will, we will. That was my bad. Okay, that's enough of this. <laughs> Let's play Beacon Pines! Exit. We're done. Enough of that. The lag, the music, the music is gonna... ...kill me. Beacon Pines, Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Oh my god, the lag was so bad with that game. Hold on. <gasps> A bat slime! I was in the red this whole time and I didn't even notice. Crazy. Okay, we're playing Beacon Pines. Um... Cute... Furry... Horror game. Smiley face. Beacon Pines. It's not really a horror game, Panda. Probably. Beacon. Beacon Pines. Beacon. Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Where are you? Furry is more concerning. Don't know the game. They're cute little animals! But they're like kids. P. 
Pecan pines, pecan pies, pecan pies, pecan pines, pecan pines, pecan pies. Beacon pies, beacon pines. Fortnite client. Oops. Beacon pines, beacon pines. Why won't it register? Howdy! We're playing beacon pines soon when it when it loads. Hi, Takari. How are you today? How are you today? <gasps> Battle Royale. Takari comes things comes in and declares war. Okay, let's do window capture then. Let's do window capture. Minecraft. You can find. Oh. Um, and then we need to add it to my. Pretties. Pecan pies at. And then we're gonna make you smaller. Cause we want to see the screen. Oh, you died? Pecan pines! Oh, Gamer Boy's destroying it. Okay, let me sit up. I was slouching. Panda. Oh, pandas. Oh, panda and Daisy. Gamer Boy. Oh, loudy. Give me a sec. This is Beacon Pines. Isn't it cute looking? It doesn't have any volume right yet. Let me... I'm going to tweet it. Um, quote tweet. We're playing Beacon Pines now. It was released today. Come join us for a VN. I actually don't know what this is. For a mystery. Horror with cute characters. So it claims. Not really. I don't think. A mystery. Okay, I'll just do a mystery with cute character. <laughs> and then I need a picture of Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines. Copy image, paste image, everyone's distracted by Slime Rancher, they don't know about this secret mystery, twitch.tv slash no nos carnival. It's a war of profit. Who won? Daisy won! Did you see the trombone game? I did. I want the trombone game very badly. But I felt like I wanted this one today. It does, doesn't it? It looks cute. It's supposed to be horror-y. Okay. Um... um <gasps> I got added to someone's clown tuber list. Wow. Okay, let us begin. Let us begin. What stream qualifies you to have to add another bottle on the bottom right corner? Um, it has to be a topic in which... Oh, stretch! I need to, I need to thirst it. Yeah. I forget why we were talking about Sobi and why we were talking about Nestle, but. Yakult? What the heck is a Yakult? Yakult. Coke? 
Yakulk? <gasps> Yakulk! I love these things! You're so... You're so right! Tikar, you're so right! I need a... I need a... Transparent. Transparent. Yeah, cool. Is transparent? No. Yeah, cool. Why is it so tiny? I never knew why. Okay, I'll add it. I'll add it later. Maybe. I mix those suckers with 7-Up? Aren't they creamy? Yakult. Yakult. You have to add Capri Suns. But Capri Suns, everybody remembers them, you know? Yakult. It's a Korean drink delicacy. It also says it's from India. Interesting. Okay, let's begin. Space. Oh, why isn't it? Please. I want I want you guys to see what's going on on the screen. Okay, good. It's not doing anything. Please. Please. I want you to see why. Why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! I can only see that curdling. Ew, curdling. Cur oh, the Indian one isn't it? Milk and Seven Up to make duhut soda? Oh, I don't know. Korean is you. Cool and Seven Up and soju. Whoa. Oops, I spelt. How's the sound? Can you hear the whistling of the wind? I always find it so funny when I play really dark games, like dark and color games, like Rain World, because <laughs> my model compared to it and then my border and overlays and stuff is so funny. I need to make like, um, maybe I'll use sh shoosh. Shoosh? Is that it? The one that like makes you look darker. Dark souls, yes. I tried making banana milk. Why did it curdle? Oh, banana milk. Soda was to combat the heat and to be refreshing, but not just like drink milk. Oh, they say there's lots of good bacteria in the kugel. I've made banana smoothie with coconut milk base. Very good. Shoosh. Yeah, some brightness adjustments would help. Because it's so, like, glaring. Mm. But I think it's just for this scene. It gets brighter. Shoosh is like... Hi, March! Hello! Shoosh is like that... That thing where... Like, people use it with their VTubers, and they put, like, a background that moves, and then... It kind of overlays it on your model, so it looks like you're an anime. Ever heard of Pilk? Yeah! Actually, I have Pepsi with me now, so I could literally do it if I wanted to. But I don't want to, right now. Maybe... maybe you guys can... make me. Don't do it! <laughs> Why not? What if it was just a little bit? Okay, let me let me start the game. Gross. <laughs> Have you tried it? Oops, wrong button. The pilk beckons me. It does. Curiosity beckons me. Okay, let's go. Can you hear okay? Did you hear that voice okay? Should I make it a little louder? Pill, 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 pill. Oh, hell no! 
Okay, good. You heard it good. Audio good, a little louder. Okay, add it a little louder. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Okay. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. Oh. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. Oh. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Dang. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. We're special. Without you, there is no story. I guess that's true. Oh. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town mm. of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. <gasps> His name is Luca Van Horn, and like the reader, he's here for a reason. Why? Oh, he's visiting a grave? Oh! Oh my god, I'm so cute. What do I do? Space? <gasps> Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. He's just in elementary school. I was six years old when you died. It's been six years now. It's twelve. From here on out, you'll have you'll have been gone longer than you were here. Feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. I know, I'm really smart. Me too. <gasps> He's crying! Oh! Hey, Luca! He has a deeper voice. Hey, Luca! Knew I'd find you here. Yeah? Rolo was Luca's closest friend. Oh. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. <laughs> well, after I banged on your door till your gram answered, and after I checked the pond... Oh, he's definitely country. <clears throat> and climbed up the treehouse. Then I knew I'd find you here. I finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Rolo. Oh, yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. Dude, this poor kid. She's not gone. She's just... Uh, missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. Oh my god! She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Jeez, this poor kid! Okay, Dad, see you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Rolo hitting him where it hurts. Rolo, my god. Oh, are we going now? Can I talk to you? Oh, oh my god, I can jump. Wow, look at me go. <gasps> Wee! Oh, oh, oh. Tickle! What the heck? Rolo went for the gut punch right there. Rolo was vicious. Tickle! What does that mean? I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Uh-huh. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Tickle. Why isn't Rolo sneezing? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. Tickle, charm, wonderful. 
Hey, was, uh, how's that? Hello, look to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to tell Gran, and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Bill Graham still kind of wigs me out. <laughs> wigs me out? <laughs> I don't do well with new people. She moved in, like, half a year ago. <laughs> Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. It won't be long. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. Quests. Okay. Dear reader, Aww. forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Yeah. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. Oh. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some okay. Some of them can be found in this very house. All right. Just some dusty knickknacks. Just some dusty knickknacks. Oops. Knickknack, paddywhack, give it all a bone. This old man is rolling home. Since Grand had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Dang. Graham, like, took apart all what he used to know. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Was a doctor? Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Why is it so sad? Oh, a sunglasses emoji. We're chilling. Oh, I'm pondering. I'm deep in. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. <laughs> Like, like, slide off the bed Grand slowly. Lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. <laughs> Cheers, light. This game looks so cute. It, it's. I'm. I'm. I'm very intrigued already. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator. The voiceover for this is so nice. Each labeled with the day of the week. Oh, Grandma, where are you? A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. String. <gasps> Junk. Yes. Seen anything? Oops. Flowers. Candy. Oh. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Old hutch. Don't forget to hydrate, everyone. So true. We're gonna go upstairs first. Is this my room? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. Oh. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Mm. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Common. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide! Oh, is this my bedroom? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Yes! It was the first day of summer. A chill still hung in the air. I'm chill! What a cute I am. Gran's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Oh, what? Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Why would she move away his things if not like... Like, I, ima I imagine she'd move away like... His parents' things, but why his things? Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the
of the night. Oh, what a little nerd. What a little nerd. Boing? Boing? Okay, now we're gonna go out into the garden. I had a feeling that she would be back here. Oh my, this is quite exciting. Oh. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about As to most encounter authors? your first turning point. There are certain times in this okay. tale when everything hinges on a single word. Mm, mm. This is what I was saying, how it's like, choose your own adventure, but it's like your word. Step forth, dear reader. In a second. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. Oh. Bushes. Yamaluka would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. Aww. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Oh. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. <laughs> she doesn't know how to garden? She's a grandma. Hi, grandma. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna hang out with Rolo for the day. See you later. Uh, hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, nowhere special. The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. We are just gonna go. Hi, Ender! Hide? Ponder. Chill. Do you think if I use up one of these, I won't be able to use it again later? We're just gonna go ponder for the day? We're just gonna go hide for the day? Or we're just gonna go chill for the day? What do you think of outfit? Your outfit? Oh, the one that you drew me yesterday! Guys, Ender drew me a really pretty ballerina outfit yesterday. It's really, really pretty. I asked him to post it in the, the Discord, but I don't think he has. Chill. Yeah. We were just gonna go chill, chill. for the day. Chill for the day. Yeah, I refuse. It's so pretty, though. The best lies I love the bodice. Truth. The best lies are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. <laughs> well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Easy. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. Nice. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. True. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Ooh, B. The Chronicle is a record of You have to make me. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. <gasps> At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. <gasps> What? Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. Dramatically alter fate? This is the one and only? So every single other one is gonna alter face? It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Ah! A grand jury. Cute. Oh, so I can... Pick. We're just gonna go hide for the day. Dang, how much dialogue would they have written for this then? Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. <laughs> yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek? Aren't you a little too old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All swell, but ends well. Nice! 
Let's go see what Ponder is. We were just gonna go ponder, ponder for the day. This is nice because even though your your choices have consequences with the story, you can still go back and pick better ones if that's what you want. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Lucas' chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. I am a lovely tiger. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a paw pre ponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Nice. Let's go! Oh, and Luca. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Sussy. Get in trouble with Rolo! <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Oh, he's a good boy. He doesn't run in the house. Snooping. Snooping in the foliage. This feels like it could take a dark turn. It's supposed to be a horror game. Or at least like a mysterious type... ...game. I think it's kind of... It's got, um... Night in the Woods vibes. If you know what Night in the Woods is, you know how it has, like... Kind of like a dark, creepy atmosphere to it? Oh, I'm posing! Where's the... Oh, that's where we came from. Oh my god, he's so excited! Look at his little feet! Come on, come on! Woo! Dang it, Rolo. <laughs> he was so excited! The town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. That's a pretty sign. It's got, like, algae on it. The road leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. Natural barrier. What else this studio made? I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked. In the first part of the stream, we crashed an ambulance in this game. The dad couldn't... <laughs> <Bob's water! laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ouch. Oh my god, look at those hyenas. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. <laughs> Look at him backing up. <laughs> Chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. Ooh. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Yikes. In the six years since, everyone was <laughs> simply trying to get by. Aww. Bacon pines. <laughs> Who are you? I want to talk to you. Festival. Hey, Mr. Kerr. Hmm, how should his voice be? Hey there, pal! Ian Kerr was the CEO of Perennial Harvest Company. Yeah, I definitely he like that. He's become a fixture around town over the past few years. After the failing of Valentine Fertilizer. Failing of Valentine Fertilizer. The town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Hmm. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come on now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty alright. 
You're gosh dang right it is. I'm looking forward to letting my letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rollo away even if I tried. Excellent. Sorry, Luca. I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Oh, Harvester waits and all that. Who oh, now? The left side's a little low. That hair is steam. <laughs> Who's this guy? Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine. He's the not mayor. Busy. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I have? It's Mayor Valen. <sighs> Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. <laughs> Keep up the good work. That nose is cute. So yeah, not gonna show that out for publicly. Do understand. Oh, okay. Your choice, it's your art. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Huh? It's nothing. Keep at it. All right. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh. Just saying hi, I guess. Hmm. Well. Good day to you, young Mr. Van Horn. He reminds me of Eeyore. Wow! I have to look about for some... Some charms. So, oh. Old Pickler's Pond. Oh my god, who's that fat guy? Oh, I can pose on all of the little... Zooming in. Oh my god, look, there's children over there. Wait, what was that? I thought I saw another one. Maybe not. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable conversation. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair. Bah, don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's the mapping today? Crummy as always. Used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till Perennial Harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Why should I be the one who moves? If it's a showdown they want, ain't I gonna be the one who blinks? <laughs> I guess he isn't blinking if he's sleeping. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy, I can't. Do it or we pound ya. Yep. Yeah, but my mom... Is that a... Is that Rhino a kid too? Yeah, but my mom said... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... If I had a nickel or every time, yeah, but... I'd be freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. <laughs> Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry. It's my first week at Pre... Perinel... I don't know how to say this word. Perinel... Perinel? 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 Perennial Harvest. Red Panda! It's you, Panda! He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful. It won't happen again. If we're gonna be on first-name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's so exciting to be part of something so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here, in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I better go. Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. If we're gonna change this town... 
We need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. <laughs> Changing the world is intense. So, what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful! Opening to new... Or open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See, it's not that hard, is it? Oh, okay. We're going already. Question two. What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought of it before. Perfect! It's the only place I've lived. See? That wasn't so painful. Pete stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Pete isn't cute enough. Red Panda deserves better. Panda has met his... Descendants and I have met mine many times. <laughs> what is? Uh, I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing down everything? Thank you so much for the time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. Our harvest awaits! Okay, bye, buddy. Can I go down? No, I can't. Can I go in that house? Oh. It's his house. Can I go in this house? No. Can I go this way? Oh, right. Roland's waiting up the tree house. Okay. Proactive company. Let's go find Rolo. Oh. Oh my god, who are you? Hey, Judson. Is the line playing any tunes today? No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. That reminds me. If you ever want his chair back, I've taken to stand in recently. Keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. <laughs> Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond, it reminded him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Oh! <gasps> Flashback! Oh my god! Oops. Wait, I didn't mean that. Father, father. Go oh, pick out your bait from the tackle box, buckaroo. Okay. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. Junk? Tickle? What does tickle mean? Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. <laughs> what fish could resist a nice shoestring? So true. Why is there tickle? <laughs> Give it a good cast now. Oh yeah, baby, fishing. Oh! Easy there, buckaroo. You don't own... Oh, you don't know your own strength. Oh, am I supposed to catch it? Okay. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Oh, whoa! I didn't think about Good that. for skimming the surface. Gotta focus. Reel it in, let it go a little. Reel it in, let it go a little. Reel, let it go, reel, let it go. Ah! Oh my god, that scared me! Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you it'd turn up. Heh. <laughs> Aww. Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. The duck scared me. What fish could resist a nice shoestring? Okay, now we have to get the other one. Ah! Oh 
my god! Ah! <laughs> A boot. Where do you think the other one is? I had to say. Something. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope the other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. A shoestring for a boot, you're right. Okay, so I'm missing one probably, right? Because I think you get three words per whatever, so... How do I back? Make a gently good first. I don't need this. No, no, just drop by to say hi. I hope you're good and that the stream goes well. Thank you so much, Halcon. Hal... Halcyon. Halcyon, sorry. Thank you. I hope you're having a good day, too. We are chilling out with this game that came out today. Mission control. Authorized personnel only. Oh, yeah. The boys had a good thing going. As long as they kept old Jeff happy. Old Jeff? They had an endless source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Jeff. Keep out! Oh my god, there's a bicycle in that tree. Oh wait, no, it's supposed to be a satellite, maybe? Mika Hi, 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 hi! Oh! Oh, you hit me with a heart! Oh yeah, chillin' like a villain. <gasps> Katie! Katie, thank you for the raid! <laughs> How's that fit up? Did you finish it? I thought you were gonna finish it. Or I thought I saw something that said you were gonna finish it. I guess that's how you go down. After Luca's father had passed, Rolo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rolo's way of keeping him occupied. <laughs> Rolo! Yes, I did finish it! This is the prequel! Oh, congrats! We're playing this new game. It came out today. On certain nights, when the clouds were just white, the boys could tune into strange patterns of static. Oh, it was a satellite. Rolo thinks it's aliens. Rolo's right. He always thinks it's aliens. Cute. Yeah, it's got like, um, Mika Ren, you played, um, Night in the Woods. Oh, not Mika Ren, sorry. Um, Katie, you played uh, Night in the Woods, right? It's kind of... It's supposed to have that kind of vibe to it. So right now it's starting off really like happy and cutesy and apparently it's gonna get really dark. It's kind of like a... Here, let me show you. You see this tree thing? So, um... You can... As you play, you get choices. And then you can pick like, um... One of these charms to use. And it's like words in the storybook. So it's gonna be lit. It's gonna later, yes, later become Night in the Woods vibe. And um, each one of these, each one of these words will like make a new bridge in the tree, like a new branch in the tree. So the story can have like a bazillion different endings, supposedly. Imitate a cute dog. Ow, 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 ow. Is that a cute dog? Wait, sounds is it really good? Yeah, right? It's really cute so far. And you find the words? My friend made cursed food video for me. What kind of food was it? Um, you have to find these charms by looking around the areas. So sometimes you won't get all the charms. You have to find them. And then you can always go back whenever you want to, to do this. One where the dog pleads for food. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So, you know the abandoned warehouse bomber place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since the fowl harvest. Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Happy working, Silver! Also, since I beat it, I'll say Fatja Morgana was really good if you ever feel like you're up to... Up for unbearable fictional misery and pain, that'll do it. <laughs> Thank you, Silver! I hope you have fun, too. Oh, yeah! <gasps> congrats! Congrats on getting Ganyu, Silver! I'm proud of you. I'm glad you got her. Did you spend money in the end or nah? Either way, congrats. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old rare house, but now I have to build her. Oh, true. No money still. Nice! Imagine if you had not gotten Ganyu and you got like the... The other, the 50-50. Like you lost the 50-50. That would be so sad. <laughs> but you didn't! I just meant we could do some research at the library. You want to actually go to the warehouse? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere, and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me. This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got your back. Oh, besties. Thanks, Rolo. Now that I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go! I'm gonna go now. Have a lovely... Thank you, and I see you! You'll have to follow my Twitter to see friend Sour Cream Pringles Par... Sour Cream Pringles Parfait. It was great. Okay, let's go find the warehouse, I guess. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on! I'll catch up! Oh, look at this! Oh my god, teenagers. Hey, Miss Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? <laughs> Rolo was dying. Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Don't come in the fountain! Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. You be safe now. I love these. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Miss Hatch. The two wandered down the wooden path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh my god, foreshadowing. Oh. Oh, this is getting good. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record, the Beacon Beacon. The Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What the day I have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about news. The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news on the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Hmm, Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. Any change is a dangerous animal. <gasps> Twinsies! It's 
Let's go talk to these fellows. Oh! Luca! Just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Is this Rolo's older sister? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. Oh, no, this isn't a short game. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. <gasps> and currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. No! Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? <laughs> have you seen my blockhead brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, I really know. Can't say I have. Can't say I won't say. Roxy, would I lie to you? Oh. Luca, wait up! I almost forgot to tell you. Roxy might be lurking around here. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo. Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? Wait, you're not scared of... Or what? You're not scared, are you? She's harmless. And a chump. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? <laughs> Get in trouble with Rolo. Caught in free 4K. Don't mind me, just looking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, huh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Uh, Roxy, I'm gonna be level with you. I'm sick and tired of digging up carrots. <gasps> We all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten! And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic shrink ray All the more reason to keep on digging. There's gotta be more to life than punny carrots. Look, Roxy, Luca, I have places to be. So if you don't mind... Oh, I do mind. And I'm not... Gonna catch hell again because of you. So neither, or er, so either you might yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Uh oh. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step toward him. Carrots important. Oh, <gasps> cracking her knuckles! Oh my god, he's gonna be beat to together. From being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to do a little. Chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Um, um, um. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining and we just want to take it easy. <laughs> He's leaning on the wall. Oh, sorry. I stuffed a cookie in my mouth. Let me chew it. <laughs> okay. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. That's great and all, but Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Pa always said tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oof. Oof. Oh, oh rats. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. I'm gonna go alone? Oatmeal raisin cookie or the fluffy ice cookie from oatmeal raisin? Oh my god, I gotta do it alone now. I see. So that's why it would change fate so much. Like, if I picked the right, or if I had the right word, then Rolo would be with me. So, Fitz, what are you up to on this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I 
I was going to make some, but the oven is dirty. The oven is dirty. Can I go inside? Nope. Oh. Last chance diner. Can't go in there either. Can I go in the coffee shop? I want to go in the coffee shop. No. Smoke! Oh! Oh my god, who are you? You're so cute. Um, Piper! Oh, hey, Luca, what's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course. And it's like the morning. Correct! And you're studying? Like they say, the early bird. Gets the proper education required for its successful and fulfilling career later in life. Uh huh. Hey, Zariel. Hey, Luca. Can you please taste this lazy butt to help out in the cafe? Um, Lumi, Zariel would like you. Luca, let me give you a gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never... If you never do what you don't love, you'll never work a day in your life. So he doesn't like working. Somebody can't wait to be an adult. Wow. You're really setting that kid up for success. Don't worry, I got you. Can I go down? I can go down. Oh my god, so cute! Who's this? Hey, Griffin. How's the ice cream get going? Not great. Still pretty cold out. I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver is not at his grocery... Or, Mr. Tolliver is not at his grocery stand? He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha! Groceries. Buds and bulbs. No touching! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Smack! I was being naughty. Now I have a good weapon. Woo! Got the shivers. Who's that little kid? Hey, Brett. Hey, Luca. I'm doing... or er, I'm doing some fact-checking for the town's history exhibit. Look, kid. I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know... When the town was funded, there were only seven citizens? And they all worked for a mining company? And there was only one dirt road leading to the town? And... There still is only one... Town leading. The Great Sacco! Ah! Hello! Oh, right. <laughs> dun, 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 We're gonna try going up this way. Guess we can go up this way. Oh my god! Up at Dawn Newsstand. Hey, Dawn! Oh, that's so cute. Up at Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> yes, yes, hi, how is you? I am good. I am great. We're playing, um, Beacon Pines. It's kind of like, uh... I don't know what it is, actually. Um, choose your own adventure type game? RP, RP... No fighting, no fighting. It's just kind of like a story, I think. No problem. It comes with the Dawn job. Dawn had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. Aww. At night, the she art style is amazing. It is, isn't it? Break. It's really cute, and the music is really pretty. It's supposed to get like really dark, like horror-like, atmospheric, I think. But we're not actually at that point yet, so I'm not sure how dark it's gonna get. So far, we do know that this. Poor boy's dad died and his mom is missing, so that's our starting point, I guess. <laughs> By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. Hawked papers. What's up? Rolla said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. You know anything about that? Hmm, you might say I've heard some things. I'm working on a story about it right now. So, what's going on? Can't say quite yet. I 
still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Things seem to be quiet in town today. Yep, everyone's preparing for the festival. Should be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then? Back to normal tomorrow? Tomorrow? Back to... Oh, whatever. Catch you then. Oh, and Luca? I'm really sorry I haven't been able to find out anything about your mom yet. I'm just grateful that you tried. I'll keep... I'll still keep my ears up. Aw, Don. Don's got our best. Last chance diner. Hmm, I guess is Mr. Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. Mr. Fratelli. I'm intrigued now. Yeah, me too. Okay, we're off. We're off to the place. Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. Sharper Valentine. Did much, if you ask me. Indulgent. What does that mean? Oh, he's indulgent. The guy is indulgent. Oh. Hey, Solomon. Apologies. No time for chit chat. I can't tell if these animals are like adults or like kids like short adults or kids okay hold on guys i have to be right back i have to run to the bathroom for a second i'll be back I went to the bathroom, but now I'm back. What have you missed? When did you leave? Um, Rolo isn't coming with us. His sister took him to go do chores. So now we're going to the, the abandoned warehouse all alone. Looks like the library isn't opened yet. I'll check back later. Wonk. Oh! Bonk, I'm on the road. Bonk! Nun Creed's drugstore. Around when you got to the treehouse the first time. Oh! So, we're gonna go investigate, um... A, uh... A warehouse that Rolo saw strange lights coming from. We were gonna go together, but then his sister came and... Took him away. I'm back with tea and cookie dough! Oh, cookie dough. We have Pillsbury cookie dough in the fridge. Who are you? Oh my god, he has a deep voice. Luca, my boy. Hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. 
That is not a good deep voice. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. No, it's not her in a jar. It's her jam. You have the cookie roll, but you have to cut and has the design inside. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You would just remind her that she still owes me that day. <gasps> oh my god. He has a thing for grandma. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. <laughs> oh no. Will do. <laughs> She's a fine woman, that Jupiter. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. <gasps> Dude! A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than only jam on earth. <laughs> oh my god. He's got a long time crush. He is smitten. Heavy, he coming off a little, a little too strong. The phone booth was brand new, part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Perennial. Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Do they even need phones? Oh snap! Oh, who's this? Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunting going? Oh my God, this is Daisy. Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. The voices are on point. I must say. <laughs> Thank you. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. They just... Or sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into weeb wood... Weeb wood? Oh, weep wood. <laughs> just be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. Monomon. Monomon. No bug crunching. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. Weepwood. Okay, no turning back now. Oh, I can't turn back. For real. Caution. Electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Thrum. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolo would do. So that he could rule out that option. <laughs> I'm definitely not touching that thing. I'll be Barbie. It's shower time. Happy shower. Get clean. Say no touching it, but maybe we can throw. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Oh, two bulbs remained. Breaking. We're busting. Oh, I'm going to roll mushroom. Oops. The tingle of trespassing. That's two. One more to go. The fences yeah. buzzing gave way to silence. Yes. Okay, moment of truth. I'm in. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building, long abandoned. The warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Mm. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. Mm? The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. Why are the trees goopy? That's a good question. Weeping willows? What's going on here? There's only one way to find out. I guess that's true, but can I go back? Sorry, I need to... I need to walk all the ways. I need to walk all the ways. I can't not walk all the ways. It appeared to be deserted. Hmm, that's strange. Oh my god, all the bugs are gone. <gasps> Wait, I bet that's part of the reason why... Why, like... All their... Their food aren't harvesting anymore. It's because all the bugs are gone. You know, half of all food is supported by fertilizer? Yeah! Well, not... I didn't know that, but... I know that that's true. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, 
the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Haunted house? The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. Spooky. Whoa, how long does this go? Good thing we went this way. Saw Vertis Ver Vertasium video. It was pretty interesting. The most influential chemists. Oh. Hacking. They're hacking. I wonder who lives there. Okay, well, no one I know. Woo! 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 Okay, so we went that way. Good. 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 And can we go around this way? I thought so. I thought so. Oh my god. Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company? It looks old. Ew, it's toxic waste. Ew. What kind of documentaries do you like? Um, I like all documentaries, actually. I'm very, like... I like to learn all sorts of things. Oh, water! Almost diseased. Ew! It floats slowly into the woods. This building is ruining our harvest. The hose emitted a subtle sound. Mmm, oil. It was actively draining some kind of liquid. Ew! I'm walking in the diseased water. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rel is not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. <laughs> Dogs. Can I look in through these windows? Ew, why is it so stinky looking? Stinky. We're investigating. Lux. Lux thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. Rolo is a tiger. Oh! Are you sure? Maybe he is. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. <laughs> he tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Oh my god! Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. <gasps> but change is, after all, a dangerous animal. <gasps> the end? I probably should have warned you about this. He died? There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will I find the him! ending that the story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. We're gonna kill him a many times? Okay. Oh, I have the... Oh! Interesting. Okay, so I could have only gotten the the poop charm by by going this way. This is great. I like hazmat suits. 
So I have to do some some endings even though they end badly so I can get the true ending. Was to be a little poop. <laughs> In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Oh my god, he kicked her! Make a big friend! What have you done? Did ah! that little poop just kick me? Run all you want, twerps! You're gonna come home eventually! See a tiger. Okay, maybe so. Oh my god, he ran into him. Sorry about that. Rolla can get overexcited sometimes. A look of one second and you die. That's 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 my that's my superpower. Solomon Valentine. Oh my god, Solomon Valentine? Current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune. Oh! Huffed as he brushed off his pants. Oh my god, it's a rich kid. <laughs> a town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes. With all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, I'm getting by. Still no word from her at all. Nope. That true that is truly a shame. <gasps> shame Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how's that going? mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it like... You make it sound like she's rarely at home. Is he actually concerned? I have no idea. I'm reading him with like a... Like a snobbish tone. I'm not sure if he's like interviewing him. You know, like... Checking off all the... The things that... People in his town are going through. Or... Uh... Actually concerned? It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm hmm She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around. In lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say it's best to rely on yourself. Oh, dang. Family always has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Dude. Oh, snap his butler? Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Heiress? His mom? Speak of the devil. Oh, <gasps> Borzoi? Don't wander off like that. I'm too much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, Harris. I was just taking a scroll through town. A stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a valentine now. I want you to be present for your construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. Dang, poor kid. With a braid like that, they all should? Yeah! Damn, imagine being... Walking is for a commoner. Oh! Oh, I can skip! Uh, boy's got too much of his father in him. <laughs> Little help. Ah, uh, I am the champion. We were racing. Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. 
you really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? I think he's just really buff. Wait, what? Caution. Electrified fence. No, that it's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around the electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. Oh! <laughs> Why'd you do that? Pa always says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great, what now? Well, I think my part in establish that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. <laughs> from a safe distance. Okay, let's let's beat him up again. Whoa, you're a genius! I know I am. Whoops. I think they did it! Luca, you never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rollo began to bounce excitedly. Rollo! Check it out! Dang, Rollo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? Uh, this, this definitely needs investigation. Good thing the, er, good thing two ace detectives are on the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome! Rumble! Do you feel that? What, the excitement in the air? I bet your butt... Uh, you bet your butt I did. <laughs> He's so cute! Check out this puddle! That's not normal. And this hose! Oh man, the door was locked. Try harder! No dice, it won't budge. But Betty? Oh, I lagged for a second. Oh well. This dumpster is new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. Can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure it isn't a hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo. It would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, look, lady. Or come on, lady, look. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squashy bag of squish. Squishy bag of squish. Wow. A good inch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone! Hold two phones! Check these bad boys out. Oh my god, they're two phones! Are those walkie talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Atom Atomic Communicators. Do these actually work? Ground control command. Ground command. Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic Grand Command. You're coming in five by five. How, um, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for EBEC. Help us on the way. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. I know they're not saying over. Hi, Revy. Shh. Go over. I'm coming in. Oh, snap. <gasps> uh, 
tell me you saw that. Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Oh my god, he's throwing away. Is that a body bag? Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Oh god, tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run-of-the-mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Bolo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. Aha! Uh -huh. snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. Some sort of badge or something. What's it say? Bolo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag of full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Like, morally deep? <laughs> Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm no panicking! Yo, panicking! Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude. I am not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? to see the benefits of your run our, for our life's plan. Right, uh, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Either way, Whole butt. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found a eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rolo's footsteps as they faded away. <laughs> Fifteen? Sixteen? 17. He tried not to think about the contents we of the We could die. He counted. In one timeline, he does die. 35, 36, 37. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Oh my god. Screw it, that's long enough. <laughs> Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass. <laughs> Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. No! He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter 3 Finding a Friend Oh my god. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Flaming chicken coop. Yeah, um, Rolo told a story earlier about how, um, one time when he was younger, um, he set the chicken coop on fire, and then before his dad could beat him up, um, he, Luca, Luca jumped in front of Rolo and took the blame. So now he says, flaming chicken coop. Whenever he's gonna like, um, step up to protect, um, Luca. 
Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Mm -hmm. I just or I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh huh. So I'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Uh, nothing interesting. Crab in a jar. Oh. I love her earrings. Hello? Oh, hello. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> no, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering folks. I'll be right there. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Uh, anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Ran's brow furrowed. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. I have to go take care of some. Er, I have to go take care of something. You are st to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstances are you to leave. Okay. What? If I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. But... But nothing. You are to stay here. Understand. Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Bye, Grandma. Yo, Grandma part of the lab! <gasps> Maybe because someone died? I think box water is. I th I want to I want to think it's box water. Oh, and Luca, you left the ice box open yesterday. You're not made of money, you know. Oh, sorry. Well, that was strange. That grandma's involved, but she might know something. Who knows? I sure don't. No nose. No no nose. No 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 nose. Okay. Well, let's go into the garden, I guess. How do we have so many nice flowers if we can't grow any food? Should I leave the house? A faint electronic sound floated in the air. Is that coming from inside the house? Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? I bet it's my walkie-talkie. Yeah! The walkie-talkie! Yeah! Hello? Rolo, is that you? It's loud. Over? Strange. Huh? Luca glanced at the now silent walkie talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. Hmm. Yeah. Someone knocked at the door. Someone must know you have the other walkie-talkie. <gasps> oh, hey, Roxy. This is about me, uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday. Is Rello here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. <gasps> No! 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 
Robo didn't come home last night. Bro, I'm about to... <laughs> no! What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Me too. Me too, man. <laughs> Oh, my tracking, it's going a little cuckoo crazy. Hold on. I need to turn on the light. Okay, that maybe helped. So, whoever was on the walkie-talkie... The walkie talked to you and they knew someone else was there in the lab. Oh, nar. Do you think... Do you think Rolo tried to communicate us, with us? With the walkie-talkie? He might have. Like, that's what he was trying to do? Has the iPad tracking been well? How's the CPU? CPU is really good. I'm not getting that, like, warning anymore. I used to get a warning that was like... 50% of your GPU is... being used. I mean, not 50. It was more like... It's more like 90. Sorry. I went to go turn on another light. Oh, Ninety percent. But now I don't have anything. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weepwood, and then it was late, and we went home. Weepwood. If he's still alive, I'm gonna kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to let people know to check the woods. You just stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. We could feel his heart beating in his throat. Rolo. Where are you? She told us to stay in, but Rolo needs our help! Rolo! Can we go this way? Oh, there's nothing that way. CPU zero! Hey, Bert. Have you seen Rolo? Nope. Though I've mostly been talking to clipboards. They're setting up stuff. Lots of stuff for the festival. This one said he was to process some answers. I told him that was fine. I'll wait right here until he gets back. I wonder if he's in our treehouse. Check for Rolo in the library? No, check for Lolo in our treehouse. Okay, he's not here. Lucas winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. We're coming, Rolo! We're coming for you! Oh. oh, I guess we should talk to him, maybe? Hey, Jetson. Have you seen Rolo come this way by any chance? Pray not. As elusive as the fish in this here pond. I would have checked Dad's grave. Oh! Wait, you're right. Okay, let's go check Dad's grave. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I walk when I'm up here. Okay, nothing. Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. Oh, there's multiple ones. Could have fooled me. Well, hey, it's no problem. Or, it's no problem. -o. The boring thing is, we love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. We're all part of something special, Luca. And it all starts right here in Beacon Pines. I got Toby it. He looked up from the clipboard excitedly. 
That's right! So how about you start by telling me? Okay, these guys are giving off major... There is no war in bossing say vibes. Look, no offense, but I've got my own stuff to take care of. Go, you joker! We're all part of this together! You'll let us know when you're free to answer a few questions. We really need to get back to work. Just a couple more minutes. Broccoli said she will be here, then she'll be here. I just don't know why I'm standing around doing nothing and waiting for Roxy when I could be standing around doing nothing and getting paid for it. Oh, come on, Lumi. Roxy needs our help. Yeah, dude. Ugh, my parents wouldn't listen. No offense. I Can, like, corporations be cults, though? I don't know. Maybe it's just conspiracy. Corporation. Capitalism. No offense, but isn't Rolo always getting into trouble? Something feels different this time. Hold on. Let me sit up straighter. What can we do to help? Parents won't go to Weeping Woods, Seth. We need to check the art, or we need to check where the adults aren't. So I guess it's up to check Weep Wood. Our shift doesn't end for a couple hours. We could spend the time making posters. That would be great. I guess. Right. Fitz and I will check deep Weep Wood. We'll be back later to pick up the posters. I think my dad has a map of Weep Wood. Let us swing by my house and grab it before we head out. They're running, they're running, they're running! Sup, Mayor? Oh, oh my god! Lesbian couple? What's this about a missing child? I must stress that the situation is completely under control. It just all seems so terrible! And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help? Nonsense, young Mr. Cotter will turn up safe and sound. I am certain. I think so, yeah, squirrel. Two squirrels? I can't tell. You just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has supplied you with suitable lodging. Oh, yes, Miss Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter back. Yes! Gay rights. Oh, where's Beck? Now, where did she run off to? His eyes went wide in disbelief. What do you mean, vanished? That's impossible. Oh, my. He doesn't even see the danger he's in. Foreshadowing! Go talk to Miss. Hey, Don. Yawn. Is it true about Rolo? Yeah, he didn't come home last night. I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking on reports about increased activity around town. What sort of activity? Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, strange lights. Your typical shady stuff. Who'd be doing all that and why? Well, I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Pre... Peren, per, perennial... Perennial harvest certainly has the resources. Do you have any idea where Lo Rolo could be? Best place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? We were in Weep Woods. Right by Valentine's fertilizer. I'll check out Weep Woods when my shift ends. I'll do my best work at night. We trust, we, tr we trust Dawn in this house. Love the bats design, but their eyes should be dots. Dots. Little dots. Oh my god, who are you? Hey, 
Yils... Yilson? History Museum. It's laughable, really. Did you see Rolo in there? No, just the shadow of a family clinging to a town, clinging on to the past. <laughs> Don, please don't die in the middle of the night. We love you, Don. Feel free to check yourself. Don't expect to have your mind blown. <laughs> History Museum. Oh! Sharper Valentine, a celebration of excellency. We all know Beacon Pines is a great town. What you may not know is great towns grow from mighty roots. Oh. And that is why you cannot tell the story of Beacon Pines without telling the story of one Sharper Valentine. Mm. Young Sharper's keen intellect and strong moral fiber led to a grand vision. A vision of a community dedicated to a better tomorrow. In his own words, a better tomorrow is within our grasp, but it requires a singular mind to harness it. A singular mind. Lucky for us, he decided to grow that vision here in Beacon Pines. Lucky for us. And grow a better tomorrow with fertilizer, of course. Yes, that's true. Valentine's Fertilizer Company became the lifeblood of a town yearning for purpose. But then tragedy struck. A scientific experiment gone wrong. An accident which took Sharper away from us far too soon. A scientific day, experiment? Pick up the pieces. But one foul harvest isn't enough to stop the people of Beacon Pines. The spirit of Sharper Valentine lives on. One it of us. Of one one of us. Together we will follow his example and grow a bountiful future. Paid for by the Valentine family and the Valentine Fertilizer Company Riverman's Fund. Paid for by the Valentine family and the Valentine's Day Fund. That was... Unhelpful. That was unhelpful? Sup? Hey Griffin, has Rolo been by? Haven't seen him all day. Shall show up safe and sound. And when he does... Tell him there's strawberry chocolate double scoop waiting for him. On the house. Aww. I like that. <laughs> if Don dies... <laughs> if Don dies, I'm gonna throw my computer against the wall! <laughs> if Don dies... <laughs> I want to buy flowers. Ooh! Nerge. Hi, hey, Luca, what's up? You haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? He doesn't come around here much. Not since they made a rule that he can only order DK. <laughs> Rolo! We love you! Come back! Oh? Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. No! No Titanic flute! A variety of existing content rotated into the front display each week. Not fooling anyone. She wants to talk. Kato volunteered at the library during the summers. Kato. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer Aww. to becoming an expert in a single subject. That's so cute. Rolo is fine. Making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, we don't have room for copium. <laughs> Sadly. He'd escape into One the day, bookshelves and when I get 25 right subs. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Melatology? What is that? <laughs> oh my god, his boy is so cute. Oh, hey, Luca, you snuck up on me. Good book. No, just started it. He gestured to the shelves. I'm really running out of books I haven't read yet. So now it's on the wonderful world of bees. Oh, bees! Turns out bees are pretty cool. For 
For instance, did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? What? Or that if there are two queens in a hive, they will fight to the death for supremacy? That's interesting, but you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Keep an eye out for him, okay? Sure thing. If I see him, I'll... He'll be the first to know. We can fight. Who's this? Hey, Jace. Oh, hey, Luca. Did Rolo come by? No. I'm actually surprised. He's usually here early on days when a new issue drops. Rolo's the biggest tank atomic fan I know. Besides myself, that is. Well, if he does swing by, tell him to meet me you know where. I don't know where. No, he knows where. Oh. Roger that, space cadet. Cute. The bottom corner shelf was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean enough to read. Cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Boring. Mycological phosphorescence. Microphospal phosphorescence. Ugh. More like micro completely lost interest. The entire top level of the library was devoted to comics. Nice. Most of which were Hank Atomic and the myriad of lesser revered spin-offs. I'm sure they've read all of those. Fungi glow. Can I go in this back room? No. Oh, the cobs I've eaten. Oh, the cobs I've eaten. A salad centric travel guide for the mildly adventurous. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. Sally Seashore's simple succulent sundries. Sally Seashore, simple succulent sundry. Sally Seashore, simple succulent sundry. Sally Seashore, simple succulent sundry. Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. Oh. Succulent. A peek behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu. One of the greatest acting minds of our time. Wow. By Patrick C. Montesquieu. <laughs> Whoop. <gasps> sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door. <gasps> oh my god, this is the other guy in the title. Wait, I need a good voice for him. Um, What kind of voice should he be? Oh, yeah, Mr. Nutcrease works weird hours sometimes. I feel like he should be more monotone. Of course he does. How about you? When do I work? No, what's your name? Luke Van Horn. You new here? Yep, not by choice. Sex family moved often. <gasps> Wait! Beck is a little girl! <gasps> Beck's the girl of the lesbian couple! Giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm looking for my friend Lolo. Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? I guess so. Like, missing, missing? Does that sort of thing happen a lot around here? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. So I should probably get going. I hope we can make Beck laugh too. Look at how cute Beck is, kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Hey, wait up. What? Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. I'm coming with you. <gasps> what? So says the unlucky penny. Unlucky? Yep. Well, technically it landed on heads. Leave this kid to find its friend alone. But 
always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. I guess Rolo is my unlucky penny. That settles it. A person should never be out with... Should never be without their unlucky penny. Me too! It's a cute shirt, isn't it? Let's go find him. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. Oh yeah, we got Beck. Beck, 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 Beck. The phone booth was brand new. It didn't seem much. Okay, we already read that. Joey, have you seen Rolo around? No, sorry, Luca. I had my eyes on the jet for looking looking for beetles. It's got an Australian accent. Can't seem to find any. He never came or he never came home last night. Do you think it's because it's been colder than normal? I don't see why that would have anything to do with Rolo. No, the beetles. Do you think the temperature confuses their circadian rhythm or something? Who's to say? I'm no beetologist. Just keep an eye out for him, would ya? Of course. Of course! Bees. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. Oh, we already read this too. <laughs> Nothing new here. Wait, let's know what. We have to knock on the door! Swing gaze. Nope. Okay. Into the woods we go! Into the woods we go! The study of beets and litter one beetles. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Sussy. We need this can. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. <gasps> the nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Frost? It's the start of summer! Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what this stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science and what the science suggest poke it with a stick luca watched as beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo beck's eyes widened <gasps> as flowers grew from the dead wood first small buds which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals what what the Cool. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. <gasps> Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. <gasps> it's fertilizer! Yo, gamer boy, you're right! You're right! So, the science tells us the gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. So it works a little too well. Oh my god, it's the the bullies. Hey Tish, look what the cat dragged in. Yep. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Aw, don't say things like that. It hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. She looks fine to me. Well, hello. I don't think we have been properly introduced. Iggy's the name. This is my... Campatriot? Camp... Campertot. Camp... Campertriot. Tish. Yep. You've probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I'll forgive you just this once, on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh? He seems alright. Iggy, why do you have to be so... You? Has he ever told you that his parents skipped out on him? Rude! Shut up. 
It's true. They got tired of such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only gonna tell you this one time. Don't talk about my family. Ha ha ha. Well, look who's grown a backbone now that a girl's around. First his pops croaked, then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. Iggy took oh, a step towards Luca. We gotta beat him up! Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. His fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. But a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Well, time to bust out the... The tickle? The strange. I feel like we should do the strange because that's gonna be the weird gunk, right? I wonder if we... Okay, let's do that. We, well, we can do the other one later. Bust out the strange. All right, Luca. Looks like you need a little mud bath. What's wrong with you, new kid? We're about to pound your friends. Beck stared in silence. Oh no! Okay, I'll wait for you, boxed water. I'll wait for you! I'm waiting for you. Don't worry. Tell me when you're back. Not that you can hear this. Mm. Oh my god, you guys! I've had... Guys, I've had two audios on this whole time! Two game audios on this whole time! And none of you said anything! So I'm saving up for VIP. Ah! Really? Apparently. Did you hear the difference? Can you hear the difference? I turned it on again. Now I turned it off. Can you tell? Done now. Welcome back! I stopped playing so you... Hear no difference. Wow. Okay. I guess I'll just keep it then. No more ads. Okay, you guys are free. Let's continue. Beck stared in silence. I will never get VIP because I like doing. No, no, no! Now! Oh my god, look. You broke it! Pappy! There's a cinnamon bun on my head. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oops. The only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. Oh. It's weird when people don't talk. Yep. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello? Are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense. Wackadoos travel in packs. Ada. At the sight of Iggy taunting back, something in Luca snapped. <gasps> Iggy smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Who <gasps> go? Go, Luca! <gasps> Iggy's clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's gonna happen? Oh my god! Iggy's voice began to slur as he struggled to get up. <gasps> oh my god, did you kill him? Did we just kill Iggy? He's gonna morph! I don't feel so good. <gasps> oh my god! I'm sorry, I just... Oh, Yeah? Oh my god! <gasps> to making him age! Only on half of his body! That was intense. He's gonna be okay, right? 
nothing about this seems okay. The person at the warehouse. <laughs> the strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? No, Rolo! We have to find Rolo. You took the words out of my mouth. Yo! What the heck? That was freaky! Oh, it won't let me walk in the ooze. Luca, Luca's in trouble. Luca's in trouble. Rolo's in trouble. We all in trouble. Okay, where do we go now? Oh! Luca getting a spank? <laughs> oh, there, ladybugs. You startled me. What in the dickens are you doing up in this part of town? We were helping... We were just helping look for Rolo. Oh, you haven't heard the good news? Rolo showed up safe and sound a bit ago. <gasps> really? So where was he? It's funny, really. Just got a little turned around in the woods. They can be disorienting, you know? I'm starting to get that impression. Rolo's in his house now, getting some well-deserved rest. Wow, that's a relief. You two should scurry along before you get lost yourselves. Yeah, come on back. I can't wait to introduce you to Rolo. Oh, that reminds me. Luca, your grandmother was looking for you. She was? She was worried sick. You should march straight back home. I guess. Beck, your folks might be getting worried too. I'll walk you home. I need to talk with Nelly about work anyways. Beck glanced toward Luca. Sussy. Definitely going down a bad end. <laughs> I guess all's well that ends well. I'll introduce you to Rolo tomorrow. Sure. Glad he's okay. Bye! Rolo was safe. Yes. A wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly... That's a lie. Something's up with dread. Rolo. I'm worried. I'm worried. Gran is going to kill me. If he hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. Chapter 4 Our harvest awaits. Luca took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door, stealing harvest. himself for Grand's. Our harvest. I'm home. Everything's fine. Grand? Grandmother. I know I wasn't supposed to go anywhere. Or just looking, helping look for Rolo. Oh, where is she? Gran! Roxy came over. She was worried about him. So I figured you wouldn't mind if I helped look for him. Turns out Rolo is safe and sound. But she's in. Oh, no? Luca was alone. Huh? The house was empty. So Gran's not back yet. I guess that's a good thing. Nothing to new about but sleep, I guess. Gotta eat some food, boy. Luca was sitting by the pond, listening to small waves lap against a rock. His father sat in a folding chair in front of him. Without turning, he spoke. Is Gran gone? Gran dead. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. Well, you catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. What? Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. <gasps> Interesting choice. With a practiced flick of the wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. The wrong choice, but I respect it. The wrong choice? The pond began to freeze over. Sometimes we gotta make the wrong choice before we can make it right. Pallid ice propagated across the still surface with an alarming speed. Um. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Dad, I 
don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. <gasps> the relentless ice Ooh, shot this music, the though. fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Dad, we have to go. Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you have to run. The ice crackled as it spread across his father's <laughs> hands. That's the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. Oh my god! You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. Run. <laughs> When the nightmare hits too hard. A shock of searing cold ran up Luca's arms. He gave one last desperate tug. The chair tipped backwards in a single frozen mass. Oh God. Luca tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand pieces. Oh my God. His feet. Dad, I don't understand. What does all this mean? The gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. Aww, gamer boy. Walkie talkie. Gamer boy is so good at getting deep in Luca's these. I struggled to focus on the walkie talkie. Hello? Faintly, he could hear Rolo amongst the noise. <gasps> Rolo! Luca! Oh, Luca! Rolo, is that you? Luca! There? Rolo, it's the middle of the night. Luca! Thank God! Listen, I don't know how long this thing will work down here. Rolo's voice was coming through more clearly now. Huh? <gasps> but some words were still just static. Huh? Listen to me. Someone grabbed me yesterday. What? The man in the hazmat suit? It was... Took me to some sort of... I think I'm... Underground. Underground? Are you okay? Kinda. They seem more interested in... For now, at least. Mr. Kerr said you made it... Back home safe. Kerr? No, trust. He's. Hold on, someone's coming. The signal went silent. So who's in town in Rolo's place? Do they have a clone? Rolo? Rolo, where are you? Luca held still, waiting for a response. His pounding heartbeat marking the passage of time. Okay, I think they're gone. Getting worse. I can barely hear you. Rolo's voice began to fade. No! Losing signal. Not much time. Mission control! You need to... The treehouse! The treehouse! With that, the signal died for good. Was he trying to say about... What was he trying to say about the treehouse? What's at the treehouse? We do have a signal thing there, so maybe we can pick up a signal better? The antenna! Oh yeah, I'm so smart. Maybe if you take a bit of DNA in the gunk, you can... Oh my god, you're right! What if you had, like, a little bit of a DNA and then it grew into the person? Ew! I wonder if Iggy's okay. <laughs> Rolo, you're a genius. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. Dude, it's the middle of the night! Grandma's not even home. Yo, freaky. Okay. Luca heard a group of footsteps approaching. He dashed behind the bushes to avoid being spotted. Grandma! Who are you? So, we all understand our roles. 
You can count on me. I still think we need more time. This wasn't the original plan. Mr. Tolliver paused, shifting his eyes to one side. Is this the... Oh, that's the cafe, the diner, the diner lady and the, the grocery guy. The ones that we haven't been seeing. We're all in danger now. I, for one, refuse to sit idly while the danger persists. Refuse. Hear him? You just keep your wits about ya. Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. You're right. Er, <laughs> You're right, you can count on me. I just wish we could have made a deal with Harris Valentine. Her resources would have still come in handy. As I said, I had no time to contact her after your call this morning. Plans change. How's Luca holding up? Forget what I just gave her voice. He's fine. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this is all... I know very well what all this is for. We have no choice. Operation Sparkplug has a new objective. Are we in agreement? The three shared a determined look. I think they must be trying to get the... Um, the corporation out of town, right? Probably, right? Good. We'll reconvene after the festival. Oh! Oh! She knew! Cran. Why are you meeting Mrs. Fratelli and Mr. Tolliver late at night? Ah! Oh my god! Hey, Luca. <laughs> Tony, you scared me! How long have you been there? Oh, just a few minutes. Earlier today, I saw Mr. Tolliver and your grandma enter the diner together. When my shift was at the newsstand was over, they had they still hadn't left. So I used the greatest tool of any investigator reporter. Oh, Panda. Time. When they left, I tailed them here. What do you think they're up to? Whatever it is, they seem organized and determined. They mentioned the festival. Yeah, I heard that too. Has your grandma been doing anything different recently? Anything strange? She got a phone call this morning and rushed out the door. A call from Kieran Tolliver, it seems. She was either furious or terrified. Or both. Look up, be careful out there. I think we might be in the middle of a scoop of a lifetime. I will. Aren't you coming out? Nah, I'm gonna stay out here a little bit longer. See ya, Luca. <laughs> Bye, Dawn. I feel reborn. Welcome back, Sacco. That was a long shower. You missed. You missed some intense stuff. I did it. Oh. He's the... he's the jerk guy. I did it. I changed the sign. Splendid. Did you see any... Oh, I can give him an English accent, actually. Splendid. Did anyone see you? I don't believe so. You were right. It was simple enough to rearrange the letters. Old ch odd choice of a prank, though. In situations such as these, odd is good. The two boys shared a mischievous grin. Can't wait for the... For everyone to see the big reveal. It should be quite memorable. Let's make ourselves scarce for now. Bye. How did they not see me literally standing right next to them? Hooligans. There's only one light on. Oh, oops. Sorry, I forgot where I was going. Pranking. Or sabotage. I think he's up to more. The heck? Rollo? Rollo, are you there? I'm at the 
treehouse now, Rolo. Mr. Cursed, you were all right. What happened out there? Dang it, Rolo, where are you? Rolo! Ha! Who's there? Michael could only see a cloaked shape behind the rocket. Who? I've got weapons in here. So you better come out right now! He strained to hear as a muffled voice began. Weapons. Huh? How could you hurt something that's already dead? Fear gripped Luca's throat. Who are you? What? You don't recognize me? Guess I don't even recognize my Iggy? Luca stared at the ground for a moment, trying to place the dampened voice. Iggy? The figure shifted slowly from behind the rocket, revealing itself to Luca. <laughs> Iggy! I'm a monster. <laughs> and now they hunt me like the beast I am. Iggy. Luca reached over empathetically. Iggy's tone jolted to dejected anger. <laughs> Don't touch me! This is all your fault! Luca slumped to the ground, overwhelmed by guilt. Damn. I'm glad it didn't get worse. Yeah, it stopped. Okay, luckily. I'm so sorry. I... I didn't mean to. I lost control. So you couldn't control yourself for a second, and I get to be like this forever? There must be a way to fix this. Oh, you gonna be my savior? Perfect little Luca saves the day. With his positive attitude and the power of friendship. I... None of this matters. There's no time. They're after me. They chased me all the way through Weepwood. I only came here to hide. Hide from who? Who's after you? Huh? Luca! Luca! Rolo? It's not safe, Luca! Rolo, where are you? The treehouse! I am at the treehouse! Oh my god, is he gonna. It was he saying the treehouse isn't safe? <laughs> no, Luca, the treehouse isn't safe! They said they were going to the treehouse! I was trying to tell you to stay away from the treehouse. Who said they're going to the treehouse? The clipboards. What did I tell you? Wow. Ah! <laughs> Yo, we dead. <laughs> Those Prenelia harvest wackos are after me. They've been chasing me, yelling questions at me. Sort of questions. They were saying the same stuff they always do. But it's different now. Less asking, more threatening. We're gonna figure this out, Iggy. Yeah, well... Thanks. Ugh! Hello? Is anyone present in this... Arboreal domicile? Domicile? Crap, they found me. Luca, what's happening? Don't panic. You stay here. I'll see what they want. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Van Horn. We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have any time or do you have time for informal chat? We will be brief. Your time is valuable to us. Uh be down in just a second! Of course, of course, of course! <laughs> uh, we have a problem. Luca, you gotta get out of there. Who's out there? Is it them? Yeah, it's the clipboards. A bunch of them. How many? Maybe all of them? Clones! Exactly, Gamer Boy! Clones! And they must have cloned Rolo, too! 
Uh, yeah, you were right. They were saying the same stuff with the creepy knob crank to 10. My young Iggy be present? We would love to hear his thoughts. Run! He slumped to his knees. I don't know what... Er, I don't know what to do. I'm just so tired. Luca, what do we do? Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and headed for the window. Follow my lead. Luca and Iggy climbed up the back of the treehouse to its <gasps> roof, where Rolo had constructed his MCDC. The Mission Control Defense Cannon. <laughs> From behind the crowd of clipboards, William Kerr strode forward, a warm smile on his face. Ah! Iggy, there you are. You gave all of us a heck of a scare. Go away. Just leave me alone. Oh, I'm sorry, Iggy, but no can do. Don't worry, though. We're here to help. Help? Then why are you chasing me? Luca, can you talk some sense into your pal there? Or here? Just look at him. He's not well. What's wrong with him? What did that gunk do to him? Well, that's a pretty honking big question, Luca. All you need to know is that he's sick. He's real sick, Luca. I just need you to let us up there and take care of him. You told me Roll was okay, that he was back at his place resting. He is! Poor fella just got a little lost. That's a lie! That is a hurtful thing to say, Luca. I thought we were buddies. Why? Because he lets you ramble on like a wackadoo? Nobody likes you, you creep. Her smile faltered. <laughs> what if he's still changing? Why don't you pop on down here so we can have a face to face? Feeling like this is gonna give us all a heck of a sore throat. Who wants that? Luca's grip tightened on the MCDC. What did you do to Rolo, you liar? Well, shucks, Luca. The only teeny tiny fib I told you was that he was at home. He is resting, and he is perfectly safe. For now, at least. What happens to him next is up to you, Luca. Look around. You're in quite the pickle, and I'm the only person in the whole wide world who can help you. You get to decide how this ends. Luca's mind raced. He was caught in a trap. Oh my god. What do you do when there's no hope? Oh my god. He wiped his cheeks with a sleeve. What are you gonna do, Luca? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Luca? Luca drew himself up and decided to take the only option they had left. Fight! We only have fight! Luca drew himself up and decided to take the only option they had left. Fight. He swung the mission control defense cannon around, aiming it confidently at the smirking face of William Kerr. Yo! Hey, Mr. Kerr! Luca summoned his most insolent demeanor. Rolo sends his regards! <laughs> was uncalled for, more than a little rude, and just plain unsanitary. Luca, I really did think we were good pals. What a shame that it's come to Kerr this. turned his back on the two boys. Yo, we gonna die. And this. With a nonchalant wave of the hand, he made his exit. We gonna die! Yay, yeah, they can climb up now! As the clipboards <laughs> began to slowly advance on the treehouse, Luca looked to Iggy with resignation in his eyes. The end. We, we lost. That escalated quickly. Maybe discretion was the better part of valor here. Let's put a pin in this for now. For now. Okay, so hold on. Struggle? <gasps> Oh my god, we have a new option for wow. when we go solo! We can struggle! But 
we can tickle him. <laughs> I have manifested into existence. Hi, May! Oh my god, May, you love Dawn. The character in this game named Dawn. Guys, what should we do? Okay, hold on for a second. I'm just gonna check a message. Ooh. I may buy Splinter there today or tomorrow. Nice! I hope you like it. We fighting the creep? Okay, should we tickle or should we struggle? I think we should... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should struggle. Because now I kind of want to know, like... Um... Like, we can go back to this one later, right? Emojis appear on screen now! Don't think we can tickle. I think we can tickle. Yeah! They do! They have for a while now. Oh my god! No, I don't want this. How do I go back? Oh my god, it picked it for me. Well, Oops, no! Time to bust out the strange. No! That is not what I meant to do. I wanted to struggle. Yo, music change. This story is about struggle. Who's Dawn? You'll see her. This is a story about struggle. Luca could hear a machine humming somewhere nearby. Oh, I don't think we're still gonna... We're still gonna die in this scenario. He around wildly, searching for something. Anything that could help. His hands found a hard object. Maybe a tile? He yanked it free, lifting the cold stone. Let. Me. Go! Luca swung the tile as hard as he could at the shape that still held fast to his leg. He heard the crack of glass as the stone hit the assailant's mask. With a muffled yelp, the hand let go. Luca was free and scrambled to the door. He never looked back once on the long run home. Chapter 3. Everything's fine. <gasps> a different chapter 3! Should we go this way? Should we go this way or should we do the tickle way? The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. Let's go this way? Okay. I finished a jarring mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to be delivered into town today. Okay. So, what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, Rolo had things to do, so I just sort of poked around town. I've set the jam down by the front door. There's two batches to drop off. Mm -hmm. One for Mr. Tolliver and the bag and wag. Ooh, deliver jam. Another for Mr. Fartelli at the diner. Those are her accomplices! Oh, and Mr. Nuncreed. He said he wanted some more. I suspected as much. Yes, he seems to have taken a particular interest in my... jam. <laughs> There's some extras in the basket for that enthusiastic gentleman. Just make sure Frontelli and Tulliver get the ones on top. Oh my god! She passes messages in the jam! No problem. Off with you now while the day is still young. Who's she phoning? Hello, 
it's Jupiter Hardboard. Before you hang out, just hear me out. I have a business proposition. The simple matter is we both have wow. the same problem that needs solving. Very well, we can meet tonight. Sussy. Send your softest delivery, boy! Okay, so now... This is the timeline where Rolo wasn't kidnapped. So we have Rolo still. Oh my god! Rolo! I love you! Okay. Sorry about yesterday. Roxy can be so annoying. But good news, no more boring choice for me today. Did you make it to the old Valentine warehouse? So, what did you find? Give me the dirt. Something happened. There was someone else there. What? Who was it? Was it aliens? I knew it would be aliens. No. Zombies. No. Alien zombies. What else could it possibly be? Rolo. I've got to deliver these into town first. We can catch up after. Ooh, is it a whole thing? It sounds like a whole thing. Yeah, we shouldn't talk about it here. Meet me at the treehouse tonight. I'm not sure what this treehouse is you speak of. Sigh. Meet me at mission control. Roger that, space cadet. What if they clean the evidence up and nobody believes us? Sussy. Oh, no one's here. Oh! Nerge. Wait, watch your step! Oh, sorry. There's a whole family of beetles here! They've gone missing. I thought they just... Or, I thought they just sort of wandered around. Everyone has a home, Luca. Even beetles! Luca checked the soles of his sandals. I think we're okay. It's weird that they're gone. They went missing when the festival preparations began. You think the noise scared them away? Something like that. Just watch your step, okay? It's more like, um... Did you play Night in the Woods, May? It's like Night in the Woods. You can tell those jerks. It doesn't matter how many boxes they pile up. I ain't moving. Humph. I haven't played of it, but I heard all about it. Yeah, it's very similar to that. In the sense of like creepy um, town something shenanigans is going on. Citywide conspiracy. Hello, hello, I've got some gems. I can't talk to you, but I've got some gems. Mr. Wilder, I trust you have time to chat. Eris Valentine, oldest of Sharper Valentine's children and heir to the Valentine fortune, had a way of making questions seem like demands. Certainly. What seems to be the problem? Mr. Wilder had learned to assume that if he was hearing from Eris, it was because she had taken issue with something he had put in the paper. Oh. I couldn't help but notice that the front page of this morning's paper was consumed with stories about the silly festival. Well, yes. The news of the day. But there was no mention of the museum. Nor the foundation through which it was endowed. I'm sorry, Miss Valentine. My readers are more so interested in this town's future rather than any one family in particular. <clears throat> there was a time, Mr. Wilder, when the goings on of my family was the only thing the town cared about. Well, things change, ma'am. And you know, change is a dangerous... If you finish that thought, I will make that monocle a permanent fixture of your autonomy. Uh, apologies. Today, Mrs. Valentine. Did I give you the impression this conversation was finished? Mr. Wilder averted his gaze and began to polish his monocle. Well, 
Good day, Mr. Wilder. Bye. Bye. Oh, let's hear what the foreshadowing lady will say. Angers from the past, mistakes not yet made, and a glimmer of hope for the future. He carried them all in equal parts everywhere he went. Oh, heavens, what a burden to bear. Wow. Wow. Then I saw the end. Oh, what are you guys up to? Okay, I've talked to you guys. That's nice that after they know that we have used the dialogue already, they won't um, give us a new one. Valentine is getting old hat. Here! Me! It's Dawn! Look, it's Dawn! Hey, Dawn. Ha! Ah. Hey, Luca, what's up? They got you on jam delivery, eh? Yep. Have you seen the new kid around yet? New kid? Yeah, came in from the big city. Her parents both got jobs here. Oh, yeah, we haven't met back in this timeline. But get this, one of them is working for William Curran. What? Purnell Harvest. And the other is working for Harris Valentine. What? And... The Valentine represent Beacon Pine's past. Prenelio Harvest has positioned itself as this town's future. It must make some interesting dinner conversations. I can imagine. Or the other way. It's the other way. My ears. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. They are fluffy. They have the little fluff inside them. Okay, we've got your you got your jams. Well, if it is right, what should I give her her voice? <clears throat> well, it is my favorite little jam runner. Hey, Miss Fratelli. Look at you. Forward and pinch Lucas' cheek. You're all skin and bones. Is your grandma not feeding you? She is. It's just I understand. You know, I taught your mama how to cook back in the day. You may not even remember, but you and her used to help out at the diner. I love how the voice is very high pitched. Not an actual bat, but Earth bats communicate. Yeah, isn't it cute? I was I was noticing that too. See that picture over there? That's you helping your mama back in the day. So cute running around with your little apron taking orders. Sigh, the whole situation just breaks my heart. What happened to Eleanor? Break. Batman should do <laughs> Wait, that's so good, Panda. Imagine Batman with a high-pitched voice. I got a feeling she's out there somewhere yearning to be with you again. Thanks. Few things in this world can keep a mother from her son. Luca shifted the basket uncomfortably. Oh yes, let's Mrs. see here. Fratelli lifted the cloth and inspected the jam. Uh, they even have my name on them. How she thoughtful. She carefully lifted out her jars of jam. Tell your grandma hello for me, Luca. Will do. Oh yeah, we got the jams. Hi, Mayor. If I could just be left alone, young Mr. Van Horn. Oh, sure. Sorry to bother you. It's just that... Mr. Kerr has asked me to make the opening speech at the festival. Being mayor and all, you might expect me to be a charismatic speaker. But the truth is, I'm terribly nervous. I don't really think I'm cut out for this sort of thing. Cut out for being mayor or for public speaking? Both, I suppose. I never really chose any of this. It's more of a duty to my family. For our legacy. It sounds like a heavy burden. As for the festival, just speak from your heart. I'm sure it'll be great. Also, bat ears vary in sizes and shapes. Many ears resemble Indian flying fox ears, which are small and a bit rounded. Aww. Big ears. Humans and bats are the closest things to Kiyajara Juma in Earth. So I... Ooh. Alien magic. Alien research. Nerge. How do you keep the ice cream cold? 
we keep them on ice. Where do you get the ice from? I don't know, somewhere cold. How do they keep somewhere cold cold? Look, Bert. Do you want some ice cream or not? No, I'm good. Yo! Counter, Hiram Tolliver was meticulously shining apples. More accurately, Hiram Tolliver was meticulously shining one apple. Hello? With a yelp, Mr. Tolliver fumbled the apple, flailing at the air as it fell. Kiara! Yeah! That's cool! Oh, sorry. Ha! Uh, no bother! How did I do his voice? No bother, no bother. No. He no bother, no bother. Forward no. And lowered his voice. I see you have something for me. Yeah, Gramps had some jam I'm supposed to give you. He leaned in a bit further. Jam? Yeah, the ones on top. Is that stash alive? <laughs> Mr. Tolliver leaned back, speaking loud enough for anyone to hear. Ah, yes! The jam! Oh. The jam! Er, the jam! The, the jam! Thank you so much for delivering this jam to me! He reached forward and snapped up the jars of jam, giving Luca a little wink. I shall put it on my store shelves post-haste! Uh, okay, I should finish my deliveries. Of course. He's not a great spy. Of course! He leaned in for a final whisper. Of course. <laughs> what? Dude. Mr. Sanma! We got gems for you! Butterfly-like! Oh, that's so cute! Got some jam for you, Mr. Nuncreed! Luca, you seem chipper. Well, aside from being on delivery duty, it's a nice Mr. day! Mr. Nuncreed eyed Luca for a moment, then nodded in agreement. I suppose it is. So, do you want your jam? Oh, right. Usually, Juniper drops those off herself. I guess she's busy today. Anyway, this is my last delivery for the day. Oh, in that case... Nuncreed snatched the basket from Luca. I'll hold on to the basket next time I see a grand. He's holding it hostage! Oh my god! Beck! Hey, you. Anchovies or pineapple? Ugh. Don't think. Just answer. Pineapple. Why? How old are you? Twelve. Perfect. Follow me. Who are you? Anyone ever tell you you ask too many questions? Just try to keep up, okay? Oh, okay. What just happened? Where are you at? Oh, it's our mommies! Hey, what a crazy coincidence! Here's my new friend I was just telling you about. Oh, that's wonderful! Yep, we just hit it off. Oh, really? Get this, his favorite pizza topping in the whole world is pizza. I mean, pineapple. And what's your new little friend's name? Beck locked eyes with Luca. The look on her face was equal parts expectant and desperate. Luca Van Horn, nice to meet you. I'm Nellie, and this is Yona. Yona? 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 We're Beck's parents. Beck gave Luca a quick nudge. Oh yeah, Beck told me all about you. Already feels like we've got we've known each other for years. So you both can stop obsessing about me making friends. Oh, Darlene, we never doubted you. It's just that for children with fewer than five close friends, the probability of a stunted development doubles. Well, one down, four to go, I guess. What Nellie means to say is we just want this move to be as easy as you on... As you on... As easy on you as possible. You can relax. A friend has been friended. This calls for a celebration. 
Luca, you must join us for dinner tonight. Dinner? Wow, another coincidence. I actually already asked him if... Asked him and he said he would love to. It's just... Wonderful! In that case, we should pick up some groceries. You two don't get into too much trouble now. Bye, moms. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Thanks a ton. You're welcome? I owe you one. My moms are great and all, but they can be a bit much sometimes. Our house is the little college next to the big man. Oh, they live next to the mansion! Are you winning, Box? No, no, I have been playing Dark Souls for the entire time and I have just found something big. Oh, <gasps> yeah! He has two moms! The lesbian moms. She. It's a girl, too. Becca's a girl. You won so much. I want to see. I'm going to check. <gasps> Let's go, lesbians! They win in. Okay, I'm gonna go check. Did you post it? Post it in Discord pictures. I like Beck's, Beck's design more. Beck's design more than Luca? Picks and vids. Yo, is that a dragon? Is he in a nest? That guy looks massive. Can you beat wow. him to death? Wow. Wow. Big man's. Dragon nest. <gasps> Can you steal his eggs? He friendly. Oh, he's friendly. That's good. I'm glad he's friendly. Can you trade for his eggs? Can you get a baby dragon? That'd be cute. What? What? You can become a student and become. Oh, <gasps> what? What? Yo, that's so cute. I want to be a dragon, a student dragon. Box, can you be a student dragon? I shall become a dragon. Yes, yes. Keep me updated. I want to know when you become a dragon. Our house is the little corner. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, you live on the Valentine estate? Yeah, that's the spot. Meet me by the big creepy gate. Don't be late. Or I'm back to square one on this whole friend girth. Great, see you there. Breathing fire. Meet back at the creepy gate. Wow. But what about Rolo? Was I supposed to do something? Oh. Let's go meet Rolo first. We have to meet Rolo. He is important because he died that one time. I mean, he didn't die. He he went missing. Rolo where? Rolo in treehouse. Maybe. Hopefully. Where is he? Just one more fun pass about the car while we go through the game? I don't know if it would be hard to focus on two things at once. Where the heck? Okay, we have no choice. Is this the path where we forget about Rolo and... Don't know what happens to Rolo? I don't know. Oh, oh my god, who the heck are you? Oh, it's Gia! Uh, What's so good about it? Uh, Any day further down the tubes if you ask me. Come on now, it's not all bad. The festival's coming up. Uh, huh. The festival. Uh, Old man Valentine used to put all... Cockamime shindigs all the time. Uh, Where did that get us? Well, it's pre... Purinel... Pernelli, I can't say this dang word. Pernelli, per, yeah, perennial harvest putting on this one, and they're doing it for the whole town, as far as I can see. 
the difference between the old Valentine Company and the new Prunelia Harvest outfit. Jeff dug through his pockets for a bit. Oh, okay. Bye bye, me. Happy store shopping. Jeff dug through his pockets for a bit. The difference between this empty soup can and this brown banana. But those have, those are but both but those both are garbage. Exactly. Oh, okay. No world though. My my no no update update already? That was fast. Bees. No bees. Hi back. So, who all lives in that house? Harris and Guff's Valentine grew up there. And Solomon moved in a few years back. That creepy little kid in the vest? That sounds like the one. So, just three people live in that huge thing? But a bunch of shady stuff happens all the time in a place like that. You turned your head into a dragon head? Not really. The Valentines pretty much keep to themselves. So it's empty and boring. Pretty much. What a waste. My mom says that it used to be way busier back before Sharper died. Before the foul harvest. Oh, that's like the fifth time someone's mentioned this foul harvest thing. And you all use that same ominous tone. Eventually, you're gonna explain to me how that harvest got all fouled up. But we can't keep my parents waiting anymore. This way. We're off to see it always up. Most kids would have just ditched me by this point. Why are you still here? You look like you could use some help. You know what, Luca? You're not so bad. Let's get through this as simply as possible. Just eat, smile, and nod. Fun. Great. Whatever you do, don't bring up their work. I think I can handle Beth that. Took a long breath, then gave a firm nod. Here goes nothing. Go, 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 go. Chapter four. Dinner with the Moodwills. The Moodwills. The Moodwills. Ilona Moodwill was worried about change. Ilona, a gardener at heart, she understood the necessity of change. Relied on it even. But there was a difference between the controlled world of Maple her place on and the shattered cottage in a strange town. Almost done. Nellie was a blur of activity, digging through boxes. Sorry, love. Couldn't find the dishes. We'll have to make do with paper plates. Whoa. Dinner went by without much conversation. That's awkward. As she watched Beck and Luca finish up their pizza, Ilona let herself relax into the chair. The things she cared about were still here. Nellie finally had the job of her dreams. Beck was Aww. beginning to take root. Ilona's task was simply to tend to them. She could do that. What? So Luca tells... Oh, so Luca, tell us a bit about yourself. You see that? My eye went all fuzzy. Where do you live? Oh. Mm. Oh, I live with my grandma. It's getting too dark in my room. On the other side of the river. Your grandma? Where are your parents at? Beck, manners! Uh, it's alright. My dad passed away in an accident at the fertilizer plant six years back. Oh dear. My mom's been missing for a few months now. Like, missing, missing? Luca's eyes were fixed to his plate, pushing a chunk of pineapple around with his finger. Nelly was the one who eventually broke the silence. Luca, how did you like the pizza? Oh, it was good. Very good. <laughs> He's crying! Normally, we'd have put more effort into dinner. Luna nervously gestured toward the boxes. We aren't fully settled in, and Beck had mentioned that it's her, your favorite. I'm sorry. Are we just skipping the part where you said his mom was missing? Beck! I'm sorry, Luca. This move has... has us all a little tired. Luca wiped his face with his sleeve. <laughs> He's your baby! 
no, it's fine. So, Beck said that you moved here for work. Oh, snap! Beck gave Luca a swift kick under the table. <laughs> Ow! I mean, what brought you to Beacon Pines? Oh, you were right the first time. We're here for work. Nellie won't tell you this, but she's a brilliant chemist. I don't know about brilliant, but I do love it. She's brilliant. Pernelia Harvest just made her the newest lead research at Deep Ed Engineering. The lead re... Wait, didn't we find the dead body of the last one? Wasn't his... Didn't they just... They just... They just killed the last guy! They just killed the last one! Fresh blood. She makes it sound more impressive than it is. I'm just happy that I get to make a difference in the world. Girl, you better not die. Pernelia Harvest. Pernial. 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 Pernal Harvest is at the forefront of evolving agriculture into something more useful than sparkling, sprinkling water and excrement on the ground. Luca glanced over to Beck. She seemed to be holding her breath. I don't know. I think he. I. I. I think that he was killed. I. I think he was killed. What Nelly means, Luca, is that there are different ways to grow plants. Oh, attention. Yes, some people talk to their plants and hope for the best. And some people happily leave their job to allow their loved one to pursue their dream. You swore you didn't. Beck slammed her fist into the table. Perhaps harder than she intended. Oh, baby. Hey, Luca. How about some dessert? I actually have to meet my friend Rolo Luca soon. outside to gauge the time. Oh, dear. The sky was darker than he expected, filled with ominous clouds. Looks like there's a storm brewing. I should get going. Oh, I didn't think there was any rain in the almanac. Yeah, almanacs aren't that useful around Luca here. Luca wiped his mouth one last time with his napkin and started to get up. Thank you for all the pizza. It was really good. Bye. See you at the festival, Beck. Oh, flipping a coin. She chasing after me? Yeah, baby. We are getting pretty deep into this right now. Huh? Wait up. I'll walk you home. <gasps> Surprised, Luca turned around. He knew a choice? He could be prickly around new people. Oh? But Beck seemed cool. Rolla would warm up to her eventually. Probably. Luca began to respond, but the sky answered for him as the clouds above began to... Break! Sunny! Luca began to respond, but the sky answered for him as the clouds above began to break, revealing patches of star-filled sunlight. Yay! Moonlight filtered down, shimmering in the treetops. Sure, you meet Rolo. You're not going home? No, I promised Rolo I'd tell him about... Lucas stopped himself mid-sentence. I promised you to tell him a... what? Spit it out, bub. We're thick as thieves now. If there's a juicy secret, you've got to tell me. Okay. You can come to the treehouse and I'll tell you both what happened. Heck yeah. Luca saw Beck skulking by the gate. Huh? So you're telling me there's nothing mysterious or creepy about this place? It's mostly boring and empty. I refuse to believe that. Big spike gate. A looming mansion. Rich, reclusive owners. It even smells shady. Beck grabbed the wrought iron bars and shook the gate. Yo! Mark my words, you 
decadent nightmare house. You will reveal your secrets to me. What did you do? First of all, I told you so. Second, hide. Hi, yo. <gasps> it's the it's a hazmat suit guy. That's Harris Valentine. Who's she talking to? Shh. I expect you to return that suit in working order. Of course. As long as everything proceeds as planned, there's nothing to worry about. The only thing I'm worried about is what's rightfully mine. If that means making some unsavory alliances, so be it. Couldn't agree more. There comes a time to suspend hostilities. I'll deal with our common threat. Now this is what I was talking about. Dex's voice was an excited whisper. Proper shady stuff. Someone in a suit like that tried to grab me yesterday. Seriously? Shh. You don't understand that when all this inability fails, I will deny everything. And inevitably fails. I wouldn't expect any less of you. You just worry about your part in this and let me handle the rest. I can't wait to see the look on Rube Kerr's face. Yes, the truth will come to light. I'm still surprised you're so comfortable with the potential collateral damage. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that change isn't painful. <gasps> Wait! 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 Is that what the... The newspaper man was... Would say? The newspaper man? Wow, I was expecting Shady. But that just flayed out... Flat out super villain talk. Is Rube an insult? Yeah, yeah. I don't know... Newspaper man, maybe. It's kind of like saying you're... Like a butt, maybe. If you don't mind me asking, why? Why are you doing all of this? The mysterious figure retracted their mask. <gasps> Hair pushing out from all corners. I was wrong! <gasps> Yo! Grim! Family. A chill ran down Luca's spine. His vision blurred. Vex stifled a sharp wince, and Luca looked down to see himself wrenching her hand. An answer I can certainly respect. Gran tussled her hair back under the face mask. Just remember, keep everything nice and normal until the festival. I don't need lessons in rousing suspicion. Gran gave Eris a curt nod and disappeared into the night. I feel like there's gonna be a bazillion more plot twists. Chapter 5. Yo. What big ears you have. <gasps> Dawn? Okay, this is what I say. We're gonna keep going until we get another bad end. Or another the end. I'm pretty sure the only way you're able to, like, actually get the good end is if you unlock every single other route. So, I'm thinking that we're gonna get a bad end. How much more are we playing? Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go until... Until the next, the end. Which I think is probably, should be probably coming up. Probably.
Lucas sat shivering in the bushes, staring at his feet. After checking to make sure the coast was clear, Beck gave him a gentle tug on his sweater. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why were you so scared of that old lady in the hazmat suit? That was my gram. That was your gram. Yeah. Okay, well... I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all this. <laughs> Let's just go to the treehouse and figure things out there. Lead the way. Sketchy. Posted another picture! Let me go see. Are you a dragon? Oh my god, what is that? What am I looking at? Is that a spider thing? Spider-Man. Spider Lady. Spooky. Oh! Oh my god! They glow! She's blind! <gasps> For the last time, there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Of course we're not the worried. The board finished writing with a scratchy flourish and looked up. Just dotting our I's and crossing our T's. Well, maybe minding your P's and Q's. Mr. Nuncreed, arms crossed over his paunch, gave an paunch. exhausted sigh. If there's anything you need to know, in, you'll know it. Absolutely. If you just sign here, acknowledging everything is accurate, We'll be out of your hair in a flash. Oh, for the love of... He snatched the pad and scribbled his My name eyeballs. so hard, the pen nearly snapped. Woo! There. And would you like my eternal soul as well? The clipboards looked at each other for a moment, almost pondering the possibility, <laughs> then broke into laughter as they walked away. Bye. Hi, Mr. Nuncreed. Luca, let me give you some advice. The next time someone you don't know asks to hear your thoughts, give him a good hard bop on the kisser. Oh, Grant tells me to keep away from the clipboards. I bet they laugh without smiling. That's good, that's good. Your Grant is a smart lady, Luca. Speaking of which, you better run along home now. Too dark to be wandering out on your own. Bye. Teens! Oh, and no, no, I might have accidentally ended. Does she know you killed her sister? Another day, another dollar. See you tomorrow, Z. Have you noticed how all the pre net pre perennial perennial harvest folks order the same drink? Decaf cappuccino with extra foam. Why? I don't know. Just thought it's a little odd. Pretty weird for sure. Well, the customer's always right. See you bright and early tomorrow. <sighs> I can't wait. Oh! Hello? William Kerr and Gus Valentine proudly surveyed the half-covered festival banner. Half-covered? <gasps> oh, that must be what the boys were pranking in the other timeline. Rolo got decaf. No, Rolo was banned from getting anything other than decaf. He was, um... He wanted normal coffee, but they banned him, and so he stopped going to the cafe. It's all coming... Oh, it's all, co all coming together ni nicely. Couldn't have done it without you! The mayor gave a half-hearted shrug. I'm not sure about that. Nonsense! That reminds me, I wasn't able to thank your sister for her contributions. Yeah, she has been 
indisposed of late. She doesn't much like me, does she? Oh no, that's not it at all. She's just been busy. Of course. Regardless, I would be forever grateful if you could pass my thanks on to her. The History Museum adds a real air of import to the whole affair. And we couldn't very well celebrate the story of Beacon Pines without including the Valentines. My father was a great man. You're darn tootin' he was! Kerr locked his arm on Gus's shoulder. But I mean, the entire Valentine family. Peasant company included. Can I ask you something, Mr. Kerr? Call me William. Ask away. William, why are you doing all of this? Granny must be the mole! Gosh, I never felt one needed a compelling reason to throw a party. Not just the festival. All of this. There's gotta be a hundred down-in-the-luck towns out there. Why is Parental Harvest so invested in helping Beacon Pines? You know what I love most about the arc... Ar Argiculture business? Seeds. Seeds? Yep. Little bundles of protection or potential, potent potential. With a glimmer in his eye, Kurt gestured grandly toward the horizon. You treat a seed right, nurture it, feed it, and it can grow into something truly special. You see potential here? Undoubtedly. The seed of greatness is already under our feet. That's sussy. All it needs is a little nudge. And the right leadership, of course. Oh my god, I bet there's something crazy under the under the ground. Oh. Good night, Miss and Mayor Valentine. Bye. Wow, we really watch him all the way back. Rough to chain a wizard. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, the chest is just a little further on from here. So, what's your baller buddy Rolo like? Rolo? He's Rolo. Not particularly helpful. Sorry, I've just never thought about it. Lots of energy. He's funny even when he's not trying to be. Things have been tough for his family since the foul harvest. It's about the damn time you tell me what this foul harvest thing is. It's kind of a long story. Hit me with the highlights. Okay. There used to be a fertilizer company here called Valentine's. They were kind of a big deal. Oh my god, my dang eye. Oh, big deal fertilizer. It was a big deal to us. Their stuff really worked. Farmers loved it. So Valentine's grew and grew. Beacon Pines pretty much grew around it. The spider lady is blind and very ill and thinks I'm her sister because I'm the only one who could understand or talk to her. Oh, what the heck? That's so sad. Most everyone in town either worked for a sharper valentine or used his fertilizer. Things were good. I'm sensing a big butt. Around six years ago, a sharper valentine died suddenly. That's when his dad died. And something changed changed how could have been a bad batch maybe it was in the water or the air or a soil nobody knows but all the crops died and everyone blamed the valentines the foul harvest but um why but um yeah valentine's fertilizer went out of business half the town lost their jobs sheesh the next year, the crops came back, but something was different. You plant a crop, do everything right, and it's sort of a crap shoot. Crap shoot what happens? And no one knows why? Breaks up the glue? Nope. I take it Rolo's farm got the short end of the stick? Yep. For some reason, their farm was hit harder than others. That sucks. Things have gotten better since... Parental Harvest came to town. The Beacon Pines Reborn Initiative. 
Yep, first thing they did was give the town a deep scrub. They even put us up in hotels, one town over for a week. Well, they decontaminated the groundwater. What the? Hmm. We better get going. That's weird. Hi, Rollo. It's about time. I was about to give up and go home. Who's a new kid? Name's Beck. You must be Rolo. I see my rep reputation precedes me. Welcome to Mission Control. Rolo waggled his head with pride. Cute! You'll find we've spared no expense in construction. I've seen worse looking piles of junk. Thanks. Hey, Luca, you know the security concerns we talked about. Yeah? While I was waiting, I made some improvements. Let me lock this baby down for a little test infiltration. Can't be too safe these days. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! This is like... If the other guys were here, that other ending. <laughs> he goes all out, doesn't he? Always. Cute! Wait, how do I get up? Oh, I have to hit it. Dang! Rolo, crazy! Who called the meeting? Um, Like the meeting in the treehouse? Me, Luca, I did. Oh my god, it's moving! Where did you guys get all this junk in the first place? There's a guy in town named Geoff. Jeff Geoff. Who trades his junk for snacks. Junk food for junk. Nice. Yeah, baby. So. Pretty sweet security, right? It was imaginative. I'll give you that. Luca, are we sure we can trust the new recruit? I'll vouch for her. Thanks, I guess. Okay, Luca, you promised to fill me in about the Valentine warehouse. Um. Luca sucked in a long breath. Among us. So, like I said. Oh, yeah, you're right! The. Rolo called the meeting. So, like I said, there was someone there. What were they doing? I don't know, but the place was lit up and active. Maybe they were squatters? I don't think so. It seemed more organized. When the man pulled me in, I saw some sort of equipment running. A man pulled you in? Yeah, but I got away. You keep saying it was a man. They were wearing a mask, right? Yeah. Then it could have been a woman. How'd you get away? I grabbed a rock or something and broke their mask. They let go and I ran. Dang. That's intense. No wonder you freaked out when you saw your grandma. Yeah, that's the other part. On our way here, Beck and I saw Harris Valentine meeting with Grant. Wearing the same sort of hazmat suit. Rolo let out a low whistle. <whistles> and they weren't there for idle chit-chat. It was a proper clan clandestine meetup. So let me get this straight. There's an operation in full swing at the Valentine Warehouse. You were almost abducted by a strange man or woman in a protective suit. And you saw and then you saw your gran in the same suit talking to Harris Valentine. Pretty much. I'm beginning to think this town is kind of awesome. Lolo and Luca shot back a look. No offense. 
And so we can logically conclude aliens or alien zombies have infiltrated infiltrated traded town. And their leader is your gran. And she tried to murder you. Uh, first of all, and for the last time, there are no aliens. Second, it could have been my gran. It couldn't have been my gran at the warehouse. I broke that person's mask to get away. The mask Gran was wearing wasn't damaged. But she's definitely handing something. Yes, alien zombies. Is Granny transporting the gunk in the jam? <gasps> Wait. Gamer boy. You're that so smart. The goo. Maybe. Don't lick that jam. That's why, that's why the guy was so sussy. He was like, oh yeah, I'll put this up on my shelf right now. You're smart ones. You've been smart this entire time, gamer boy. Your grain is weird, but you might be the most boring person in the universe. All she does is sit around all day making jam. What could she possibly have to hide? I don't know. We haven't talked much since she moved in. Moved in? Your gran isn't from here? No, she came a few months back to take care of me after... After his mom went missing. Did you know your gran before? Not really, no. It's been years since I'd seen her. Uh, Luca, don't take this the wrong way. But are we sure your gran is on the up and up? Luca gazed out the window. <gasps> I'm just saying. It sounds like strange stuff's been happening since she showed up. We could say the same thing about your family. But you're right. Luca, your granny is hiding something. And Pa always says folks only bury stuff worth digging up. What the? Wait, that's true. What the heck? That's true! Folks only bury stuff that's worth digging up! We need to investigate your house. <gasps> Grand's closet! If my gran or if my gran really is hiding something, don't you think I would have noticed by now? Kinda whole point of hiding something. I guess you're right. Grant's been leaving the house for hours at a time this week. I'll call you two tomorrow when the coast is clear. We can start getting to the bottom of this. I'm always for a good snoop. You can count on me. Yeah! Chapter Connection six. Sallow. Even more sussy. Yes, exactly. Like, like, how do we know it's really his grandma? Maybe it's just some rando. Secret layer. That'd be weird. Secret layer. Summer forged ahead. But the nights only seemed to grow colder. Luca walked home slowly under the pale starlight, cautious to avoid any more surprises lurking in the shadows. Reaching home, he slipped quietly into bed, half dreading what they might discover the next day. Where the heck is Gran? We never see her sleep. Oh my god, his little PJs! What time is it? In the shadows is dawn. Oh, he got changed. Wait, can I? Sorry, dude. Wait, hold on. Dang it, I thought that they had like alternate clothes I could put on. I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh my god, they both came over. Rollo, what on earth is that? <laughs> so cute! Huh? That ridiculous thing on your head. Oh, this? It helps me think. You're gonna need a lot more of those. Joke all you want. We'll see who's laughing when I crack this case wide open. The coast clear. Yep, whatever she's been up to this week, it's been keeping her busy most of the day. Very well. The game is afoot. Luca and Beck rolled their eyes as Rolo <laughs> strutted across the room. He's so cute! 
If I were a grand, where would I hide my deepest, darkest secrets? Beck is supposed to be a fox or a wolf. She kind of looks like a kitty cat. Perhaps where you might least expect it. Rollo flung open the cabinet with confidence. <laughs> Aha! He coughed. <laughs> I think it's safe to assume anything that dusty isn't what we're looking for. Or maybe that's what she wants you to think. Then again, any good detective knows not to trust their first hunch. First hunches are for suckers. Eureka! She's lit a fire in order to burn the evidence. She keeps that fire going every day, Rolo. Bye! It may be already too late. Just think of the mounds of documents lost to Ash. Okay. I'm gonna stop you right there. Can we just think for a moment? Luca, is there any way your grand doesn't want you to go? Yeah. The closet upstairs. So maybe it stands to reason that we should check there first? No dice. It's locked. Well, well, well. Look who stands to reason now. And I have no idea where the key is. If it really is important... And she probably keeps it with her. Anywhere else? She has her berry bushes. Whoever thought, I'm gonna take this important thing and hook it in a bush. True. Anything else? Maybe something out of the ordinary? Well, she is always worried I'll break her fancy dishware in the kitchen. But it doesn't matter anywhere. It can't reach the latch. The look of realization crept onto Luca's face. Parents' room, too. That's what I was thinking. All three kids snapped to glance at each other, then sprinted in turn toward the kitchen. <laughs> All right, Rolo. This is your time to shine. The tall boy! Ah, oh, yes. You've called upon my expert detective scales. And now I shall proceed with... Before he could finish, Lucas scrambled up Rolo's back. <laughs> This isn't my idea of detective work. Every squad needs a good lockpick. And every good lockpick needs a sturdy head to sit on. This is beneath my standing. Stop complaining and hold still. Got er, got it! The three crowded around the hutch to peer in. With the glass doors opened, a perfect porcelain display gleamed in front of them. Mm -hmm. Their eyes searched for anything amiss. Mm-hmm. I love Rolo. But the only distinct feature was its impeccability. Well, that was anticlimactic. Yeah. I really don't know what we were expecting. Like, oh, hey. Let me just yank on this random teacup and... As Beck pulled on one of the teacups, it slanted forward with a hollow click. The entire hutch began to rustle and slide under its own <laughs> power. Yeah! Seems like your grand has been doing some remodeling. Dude, only two types of people have secret lairs. Evil masterminds and superheroes. So, which one do we think she is? We're about to find out. Okay, so more of an unhinged conspiracy vibe. Oh, wow. Yeah, this can all be good. We need to look around before jumping to conclusions. Luca jostled each cabinet drawer in turn. <gasps> Only one was unlocked. He fingered through the filing cabinet, pausing at a bulging folder labeled Walter. Walter. For a long moment, he just stared at it. Wait, who's Walter? What you got there? It's... My dad? Looks like some of his old medical files. 
Your dad was a doctor? Luca nodded and caressed the label with his thumb. Oh. Well, are you gonna read it? I... Here, let me help. Rolo swiped the folder from the drawer and began leafing through the pages. <laughs> Rolo. He whistled to himself, barely <laughs> looking at the text. How about you actually read some of it? I won't say. Dense documents such as this are a lot like a cheeseburger. It's best to skip straight to the middle. That's what I do. That's where all the meaty bits live. Wow, I had no idea we were in the presence of the preemptive pre scholar in dense documents and cheeseburgers. By all means, proceed. He stopped at a page and mimed holding up a monocle. Ah, oh, here we go. Following uh, follow up examination of Terence Willoughby. Patient shows further signs of paleness and malaise. Body temperature continues to drop. He now describes soleness of muscles and joints. This is similar to the symptoms exhibited by Mrs. Willoughby just a few days past. Still waiting on those lab results from Joseph. Looked up with heightened surprise. Say creepy. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing. Who's Joseph? Well, that's Mr. Nuncreed's name. Who's Mr. Nuncreed again? Wait. Bolo's finger traced across the page. There's more scribbles. Scribbled in the margins. Could it be contagious? Mr. Willoughby claims the tap water in his home has been contaminated. Perhaps environmental. Lab results only raise more questions. It's like he came back to this report later and made those notes. So it might be related to something else? Rolo scanned through several more pages. Here! The writing looks shaky. I just couldn't help her. This disease, or whatever it is, progresses so fast. And with his wife passing, Terence's condition follows close behind. Oh my god. Exhibited by the loss. Enough is enough. I need to take matters into my own hands. Luca, staring blankly at the cabinet this whole time, spoke softly. Luca! What does it say next? Rolo rustled the folder, trying to lose more pages. That's where it ends. What? There has to be more. Luca frantically shoved the remaining cabinet folders, trying to find another labeled Walter. Luca, I think that's the only one. It's alphabetical, see? What did he mean enough is enough? How did he take matters into his old hands? That's a bad word. This is bull poop. Luca slammed the drawer shut. Yo, something happening up in here. A spider web of string connected photos of people from the town. Oh my God, she's a what? Is, what the heck? Interspersed with hastily scrawled notes. Well, she sure has kept herself busy. Uh, is your grain a serial killer? Cause I'm starting to get a vibe. Don't be ridiculous. Sure, she's just tracking the movements of everyone in town. Out of the kindness of her heart. She put little symbols by some of them. Yeah, Mr. Nuncreed has a check mark. The clipboards are all inside a big circle. My moms are both on here. Both with question marks. Gus Valentine has a question mark. Harris has a question mark that's been crossed out. Uh, Mr. Kerr has a bullseye. The killer has chosen her next victim. We don't know what any of this means. Whatever it means, it's probably not good. Yo. I don't know what's going on. Punch, 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 punch. Question mark crossed off? Yeah, it's like she wasn't sure at first, and then they had the meeting and then they reconciled it, right? Because that's the lady that they met up with, or she met up with. 
What do we have here? Pharaoh's mark. Caution. Explosive. Going to sleep and eat. Goodbye. Good night, Silver. Thanks for lurking. I hope your Genshin was well. Have a good dinner. Have a good sleep. We should probably stop. <laughs> okay, whatever comes next. Game over or chapter end? Nagaruzo. Barrels mark caution explosive. And jam jars? It's enough jam to feed the whole town. What kind of incendiary jam is your gray I'm making? Incendiary. Incendiary? She wouldn't have had me walk around town delivering bombs. Right? Only one way to find a swallow casually spun open a lid and dipped his <gasps> finger in the jam. No! Huckleberries. He smacked his lips. My hands are brown, sugar. Ants. Ink? What? Lolo plunged his hand in the jar, fishing out a soggy slip of paper. Aha! Uh -huh. offered the slimy note to Luca and licked his fingers clean. Rolo, please don't just eat random... Oh my god. Rolo, you could have died. It's addressed to Miss Fratelli. A grand jam gram? It says, Last night I used the disguised terrace provided to scout the location. <gasps> this timing window should be possible. Operation spark plug is a go. Oh man, are they doing a heist? what I miss? Um, we're finding out a lot of information. We're in Graham's, um... Secret. Secret. Tunnel. We found out that there's been notes in the jam. He's eating... Well, he... We thought Rolo was about to die, but... So more of a bomb shell than a bomb. Am I right? You're new here, so I'll let it slide. But I I'm the bad joke guy around here. <laughs> Is that everything? They crowded around a worn down old map of Beacon Pines. Cool. This looks like a treasure map. Not every old map is a treasure map, Rolo. Yeah, but every treasure map is an old map. Oh, well, he's right. Can't fault that logic. Look, there's even a pathway drawn on it. It starts at the entrance to town. And if we follow Rolo it... carefully traced the path with his finger. It leads right to... He jabbed down at the end point. Town Square? That's a fountain in the middle of town. What a weird place to hide treasure. Um... Roller, that doesn't look like treasure to me. The end of the path on that map has the same symbols as those explosives over there. So it's not hiding the treasure. A real bummer. Rolo, what's that thing you've been excited about for the past month? The festival! Gulp. Did you just say, say gulp? This feels like a gulp kind of situation. It was all rigged from the start! Everyone will be gathered near the center of town. She's gonna blow up the festival! Not if we stop her. <gasps> oh no! Uh, what was that? Luca looked up from the map. What was what? Uh, no, I heard it too. That was the front door. Which means someone just shut the door. Which means someone's upstairs. Shh, quiet. Hit the lights. Beck flicked off the light. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Statues in the dark. Overhead, creaking floorboards bent under slow, deliberate steps. <gasps> The kids looked up, the tilt of their necks following each footfall. <gasps> then suddenly...
suddenly, it stopped. Without realizing, they'd been holding their breath. All three exhaled shakily and glanced at each other. Dude, the door is open still. A muffled male voice broke the silence. What? Oh. <gasps> a final few footsteps reached the entrance above them, and the voice now echoed down the stairs. It's the nerd. Uh -oh. Anyone down? Anyone down there? The three kids shuffled to the corners without a peep. As he began to descend the stairs, the man's voice punctuated every new step. Uh -oh. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm not. I'm not here to hurt anyone. I'm just. I'm just here to help. Just. At the bottom step, the man paused, squinting to search the room for signs of life. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, it's nothing. Rolo shifted suddenly. Rolo! Luca gave him an intense, chastising look and whispered through clenched teeth. Rolo. Don't! It was too late. Rolo was already inching toward the stairway. He screeched as he charged toward the shadowy figure. Rollo! Flame and chicken coop! With all his weight, Rollo tackled the man to the ground. Rollo? Mysterious creepy man? Anyone there? From the dark corner, they saw something move. Well, I didn't know if I had it in me. But there was only one way to find out. Oh my god, I love him. Holy like, crap, Rolo, that was awesome! Wait, did you just kill that person? Luca scrambled to the hunched figure on the ground. Pressing his fingers to the man's neck, he sighed with relief. You sure clobbered him good, Rolo. He's knocked out cold. As Beck flicked back on the light, Luca and Rolo both gasped in stereo. Mm. Mr. Tolliver! Chapter 7 Okay, guys! Okay. Mm. We went on for a very long time. I think that's a good place to stop. For today. We can continue tomorrow, okay? We'll continue again tomorrow. I'm not sure how to... How do I save? I think maybe it saves itself? I know! Uh, but it's okay. We went on We went on for almost five hours. Doing the subathon this weekend? Maybe. We almost been doing this. Yeah, right? We have, maybe. If I am going to do it, I'm going to do it on Saturday. Um, I haven't decided completely yet. I'm not sure. I probably should, but <sighs> who knows? Loving the story, nothing object objectable so far. I know it's so interesting. We keep on finding new things. My parents are also going away for the weekend. Nice. Yeah, she's going. I forgot where she's going. I think she's just going for a meeting or something. Some kind of work meeting. <sighs> Well, I'm very, I'm, I, I'm very much enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. We'll start, uh, start again tomorrow. I don't know how long this game is actually. My parents are getting apples from Am Amish, Am Amish country. Ooh, nummy. You're going for your dad's to the weekend. I hope you have fun. Well, well, well. Let us. Let us. Should we raid someone or should we just go to sleep? Because I feel like we all need to go to sleep. <laughs> it's bedtime. I'm putting you all to sleep. I'm only sleeping. Someone's playing I'm only sleeping, which is pretty funny. Oh my god, dad joke! Okay. 
As you can see, I have fixed my, my, my things. Okay. Next one. Let's see. This one's a good, it's 11.30, is it a.m. or p.m.? Bedtime time. Okay, this one's a short but quick one. How do ghosts listen to music? With Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. Get it? Because they're, they're ghosts. So funny. <laughs> It's bedtime! Everyone has to go to sleep. And I have to eat dinner. I, I played that game through dinner. No funny cute joke though. What? What the? Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Okay guys, I'm gonna not raid because you guys need to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Eat dinner. I have to go eat dinner. Make sure you guys get up, have a good stretch. Have a drink before you go to sleep. Have a snack before you go to sleep too. Um, and yes, go to bed. If it's, if it's not the middle of the night for you or bedtime for you, then have a good day. I will see you all tomorrow. It's another thanks for the stream. Thank you, Pappy, for being here. Thank you, all of the lurkers. I hope you guys enjoyed the story because I I'm very much enjoying the story. Good night, 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 night.